Hello, good morning, friends. How are you? I changed my camera angle ever so slightly. Please hold. There's just a little bit of door frame poking out. And I refuse. Just in time. Yo, you nailed it. I just went live. Hi. How's it going, everybody? I left my window open in my office last night, and my office is freezing. <laughs> it is so cold in here. My my building is one of those old buildings that you set the thermometer in one room and it, and it puts it everywhere. And so, yeah, this room is just an icicle, which is kind of neat. So I got the big hoodie. I'm, I'm dressed like I'm going for a hike outside or something right now. <laughs> like, sheesh. Oh, anyways, hi, friends. Welcome back to some more Farthest Frontier. God, this game is fun. Oh, yeah, don't mind me just uninstalling Noida again. Ah, oh, this game. Noida. Yeah, why does it hurt me so? <laughs> Got to get that spotlight stealing door frame out, right? Look, it's hard enough to stand out on Twitch as it is without door frame trying to upstage me. Let's make sure I don't go skiing again. Oh, I'm too old to hurt myself skiing. That's why the ski took the fall for me. Once you reach a certain age, you just stop falling when you ski. You also stop throwing yourself off cliffs. Well, that never really stops. <laughs> that was very funny to me. <laughs> I already have to deal with the fact that I'm only the third most popular streamer on my channel right now. I know. God. You know what's even worse? Think about how many chairs there are at Loading Ready Run. I'm like 40th or something like that over there. It's devastating. Good morning, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Good morning, Ghidorah. Good morning, Amdrastrix and Scuba. Good morning, Meltalar, Transmuted Elf, with or without plan. Good morning, Okator, Zed. Good morning, Alma. Good morning, the A map. What's up, early morning, gang? Good morning, Suffix. I'm ahead of the driver's fart sponge. What a profoundly cursed sentence to have to parse before 8 a.m. on a Thursday morning. I had to check the calendar. I forgot it was Wednesday or Thursday. Am I playing? Like, where am I right now? Hello? Hello? <laughs> where was I? <laughs> like... <laughs> um, I think the game loaded in some like probably in the fog of war way over there we didn't really pick the center of the map when we first created it but holy moly was we ever <laughs> yeah the void beckons no kidding hello everybody welcome to our beautiful town this is the town of avalon and if we look at it this way it is the most perfectly beautiful defensible fort you've ever seen don't just ignore this <laughs> ignore this <laughs> Um, so we're trying something new here. If you missed the previous stream, we're actually trying to build based off of a sort of like a template, like a layout template for how the town can go. So basically these different components. We've got um, sort of our town center, and this is all of the, this is all of the high value buildings that um, raiders try and hit are inside of their own fort. Oh, this is interesting. Yes, okay, they did leave a green space on the inside with walls. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Oh, neat. They actually suggest another tower on the inside next to the trader. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then outside of that, we've got this big old town layout. And it's been going okay so far, uh, except we got attacked from this direction and this direction last time, which is just extremely rude, if you ask me. 
Like, no. <laughs> How many towers do they suggest? Four. I mean, sure. So it goes. But yeah, we have a population of 145. Uh, we are we're doing okay money wise. It's not great. It's not terrible. We even politely ask them not to. Yeah. So the goal is going to be to obviously grow the village um, and then contain the village. But in the meantime, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Might have to move this whole work camp pretty quick. So other goals. Um, we are just about to finish building this barn, which is pretty cool, pretty exciting. So our goal is to continue to expand our city in this direction, probably up this hill a little bit. Wait, are these more blueberry bushes? Oh my God, they are. Please hold. Got an old-fashioned barn raising. Are barn raising still like a big community event? Do you bring the... Do you invite the whole family? Like, how does that... <laughs> how does that work these days? Can I make a vault? You know, I can make a vault. And the vault... Uh, ignore that cart. The vault is supposed to go. It says it's a 3x4. It is a 3x4. Incredible. Wait, it's supposed to go in this orientation. There we go. Oh, it needs iron bars. Yeah, never mind. How do you do in doodly do? I mean, I can buy 25 iron bars, can't I? No, the one time you. The one time Atarka doesn't sell iron bars. All right, you know what? Everything's fine. Let's, yeah, let's not worry about it. You ever look over the sidebar of Twitch, see someone streaming? You're like watching twitch.tv slash Serge Yeager. You're like, ooh, twitch.tv slash Serge Yeager just went live. My favorite. I just love that streamer so much. Just realize that this is now crooked. Good enough to stream at one and a half speed. All right. So yeah, um, one of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to upgrade all of our houses up to tier two. And the big pain point I'm having currently is I don't have enough food variety. So once I get a little bit more food variety, we're gonna be we're gonna be laughing. Like this one should upgrade pretty quick. It's only at 28. 29. How are you not happy enough? I need like 1% more happiness. Weird. <laughs> I wonder if they've ever tried just being happier. Yeah, good good question. Good morning, Brewies. I haven't heard that before. That's very funny. All right, we need a couple more people. We're getting a little bit light on laborers, but that's fine. We'll get there. So, good morning, friends. How are you today? Are you having a great day? Are you chilling? Are you partying like rock stars? I hope so. I might have to make a second compost yard over on this side. 
<laughs> what up, Brewski? <laughs> so if I do another compost yard over here, does it affect the desirability at all? Wow, look at that, minus 27. If I put it like right out here on this peninsula, it doesn't affect anybody. I'm just trying to make it close enough that they can reach, but I also need it to be near agriculture, so. Having a bad day at work? Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know what? My work day's been okay so far. I sat down, my office was freezing, and uh, now you're caught up. <laughs> you have to fix a massive backup server issue. Oof. <laughs> Oof. You got three days of snow? I'm a little sad. I kind of wish I was somewhere where it was just like mega snowing right now, but so it goes. There we go. All right, the population's turning around. We kind of got to just play the waiting game right now. Oh, no, that road is bad. Well, I can always move that road after the fact, right? I think the next thing we want to do is we want to start making linen shirts for all of our people because we've been collecting flax for a while now. I mean, I can just move this inside, right? Hey, how you doing, the Manalik? Thank you so much for 67 months. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being the first sub of the day. Appreciate you. I was going to say, do I need a well in that area? It would appear that I, in fact, do not. What does it take to upgrade you? Bricks. I mean... Yeah, I definitely think it's time to head over here and maybe stop chop-chopping this side, you know? I just wonder if there's enough, like, sustainable regrowing trees in this area. If I just move it around, we're fine. Hmm. Alright, winter has come. Did you bring your jacket? soap's important at all, but that does not look good. <laughs> that does not look good for anyone involved. Ooh, a fractured bone. How did you get hurt? Fractured bones can lead to improper healing and infection unless treated by a healer. Undertaking more hazardous jobs, such as mining or labor camp. Okay. 
completely unavoidable. What is this? <gasps> yes! Select the grazing area. Wait, so can I not put it right on top like this? Okay, I did. Good. So now what I want to do is I want to put up some fences around this. Am I bougie enough to do some stone decorative fences? I think I am. on that one section of wall because I think it would be very cute for a gate to be right at that crossroad you know what guess I gotta keep it <laughs> so now the next time the traders show up I can buy cows isn't that exciting and then we start to get access to milk and then also more pelt and meat and tallow now which is very important because we were getting very milk poor and milk pardon me meat meat poor Oh yeah, so by the way, I tried to decorate my office a little bit yesterday. And then one of the issues I've run into is I wanted to hang art on this wall behind me. And the wall is so far, the art is unreadable, which is an interesting problem to have. So like, right there we've got the, I hope you fall into a hole. And uh, it just, just doesn't even feel legible. Which I'm very sad about because I love it. I wanted to put my little hedron crab on the wall as well. So I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to fix this. Maybe I'm supposed to change the shot. It'd be like cleaner and more straight on. I don't know. Turns out, trying to decorate a large room is uh, challenging. Y'all working in the winter? No. Not even a little. Oh, there we go. See, look how cute these walls are. This definitely isn't ready yet. Her jerseys work. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't have to decorate your office. You just simply filled the walls with shelves of board games. So I don't quite have enough room for shelving behind me either. And the other thing Joe was saying is like we could cheat and put the like the shelves closer to me. And then, <laughs> and then I just worry about knocking them over. I don't know. It's uh it's tricky. I don't have a good solution. How you doing, Jesse? Improved? Good morning, friend. Tis the year number 14. The year of our snurge. I actually really like that that rock is there. Remove his target? Yes. Not even enough room for a big Kallax. Are Kallax the, the weird QB things that Loading Ready Run has on the set? I actually don't know. I mean, that could work. 
and then especially my issue is uh this little like ikea three by three i have behind me is very low your village is low on laborers how did it it was at like 20 before how did it drop down to 11. yeah i guess that is a calyx and the hole on all of those is um it's a uh they're like one foot by one foot i can get a, a tape measure if you care about the actual number Thirteen by thirteen. I'm hoping that you are familiar with the size and not that you like not that you're smart enough to look at that and know the dimensions, Dark Guru. <laughs> I have to measure now to find out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. It's a 12 by 12. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's smaller. Actually, it's even smaller than that. It's like uh, 11 and a bit. So the center of the beam to the center of the beam is 12. So the actual internal space is only like 11 and a half. Might be a knockoff one. Yeah, it's very cheap. The, uh, it's like bristle bud, bristle, whatever. <laughs> Um, which means that one time, like, a little bit of moisture got on top. I think I put, like, a, a plant on top, and then it bubbled. So, you know. Ikea doesn't even make the 3x3. Three three. I think... I don't even remember where I got this. I think a buddy was moving and didn't need it anymore. And I helped him move, and he just, like, gave me the shelf. If I remember correctly. Oh, right. I understand why I don't have any money. It's because I, um, or any people, pardon me. It's because I uh, did that. All right, real quick. Keep our soap for now. Let's move all of these over. Transfer all 34. Good amount of fish. Oh, I'd love to see this, actually. Look at that. We're up to um, 600 fish. I was getting a little nervous. All right. You want to buy linen, pelts, soap, candles, pottery. You sell absolutely nothing of value. Okay, neat. Let's see if we can get another friend coming on in. I recently learned that on a tape measure, the metal bit moving is intended, so it is consistent if you push it against the surface to hook it on something. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, we've been raiding. Um, heck. Heck and butts. Heck and or butts. All right, everybody, brace for raiders. Now this time, it does look like we're being attacked from the correct direction, which is great, very exciting. Who oh, we raiding? Well, well. All right. So, this is, this is, again, this continues to be a problem for me. I don't understand why, why these people have not fled. This is kind of an issue here.
I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with this siege weaponry. Don't have no idea where you're going. No. No. You're heading the wrong way. Oh, how much gold did they take? Four hundred gold? Actually a little bit devastating. And now I'm also being attacked by predators. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. That's the... um. It was like a boar it was actually attacking them. Like, what are you doing? Hold on. Chopping trees, chopping trees. Are you still chasing? Don't chase. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a boar attacking those bandits. So funny to me. So I continue to be annoyed. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in order to um, in order to, like, how was I supposed to defeat that? That. Like, that siege tank, right? I mean, I am on the highest difficulty of raiders, so maybe that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like we need soldiers. We can't afford soldiers. I mean, we can barely even, like, we're operating at a loss right now for the, um, what we already have. I could try and upgrade to stone walls pretty quick. Nope. You don't get stone walls until level three city. All right, let's see if we can um, make a couple quick bucks here. All right, you wanna buy hide, ooh, tools. Oh, wait, tools are 32. Tools for 36. Dang. You buy soap and baskets for a pretty good price here. Let's move those over. You're selling bricks? Okay. You are... No. No shenanigans. At least no shenanigans that I see. All right. Uh, is there anything I want to buy here? I'm kind of tempted to maybe buy some iron, but at 11 gold each, it seems bad. Oh, do they have like cattle or anything? No, they have um, horses and chickens, but no cows. That's fine. Towers seem useless. I mean, they do a good job of dealing with raiders, like the little guys, right? But yeah, they cost a fortune to build and maintain, and they're like paper, right? Like, you see how quickly that went down? There's a little bit of mismatch, for sure. Am 
my village was raided. They got away with 428 gold. That stings. But on the plus side, we lost zero villagers that time. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm like generally okay with um, my people not dying. <laughs> Oh, we, we, we can't pay for soldiers. We, like, it's just not an option right now. We, yeah, we cannot afford soldiers. We just kind of got a deal. Because the other thing is we just don't have any equipment for them. We don't have armor. We don't have weapons. Like, you have to arm them is the other thing. Or else you're basically just sending villagers into their death, so. I'd prefer not to do that. <laughs> oh, right. I could make that money back by selling these goods. I could make more money later. It's like, I don't need this money. You know? Actually, I could also buy candles. Oh, wait, maybe, shoot. I think candles might have been a deal for the last one. Buying candles at the lowest possible price. This is, this is a potential opportunity. You know what? I'm going to buy 500 gold worth of these. I think this is a good buy low, sell high opportunity. We'll hold on to the stock and see if I get punished. Candles are a good luxury good. All right, so I grabbed a, a little bit of sand. So what I should be able to start doing now. Is adjusting the um, pH level of our crops now. already a little decorative gate there in which case let's put it here oh you can just build it on top it's a little bit embarrassing I thought I had to leave a gap this whole time this whole time I could have just put a gate anywhere wow the quality of life improvements of this game are just out of control <laughs> Lost two herbs. Unbelievable. This little thing did all right. Predators are attacking. That boar isn't even attacking anybody, it's just existing. Man. I got a little bit of scurvy. Delightful. My favorite. Hey, 
Hey, good morning, Wukachaka. Can you domesticate the boar? No. No, we get access to chicken, horse, goat, and cow, but no pig. No bacon. Sorry, chat. I know we all love bacon. Big bacon fan. So if I get brick, I think brick is going to be a big, big game changer for us. I need more people. I need one more. Oh, yeah. All right. So I think it's time. I actually think it's time to move this whole little camp. I need... Um... I need a big wave of people to show up again. All right, so what we want to do is we want to grab this work camp and move it. And then I want to grab this temporary shelter and move it. And I want to grab, I think, you know what? I think we can leave that well. I don't think there's any, any downside to having an additional well. Move that. And then you know what? Just because it's out in the middle of nowhere, we're going to do another uh, Narkuru special up here. All right. Slope is too steep. Okay. Little Fort Narkuru over here. Hard to see what I'm doing. Maybe if the slope is, the slope is too steep, they can't attack. What do you think? Good morning, everyone who wishes to be perceived. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you call me out like that? <laughs> We cured them of their scurvy. The cure was a pear. <laughs> That's it. All right, hold on. How many of these do I have? I think I only have two hunters, right? No, I have three hunters. One. Where's number three? Well, that one's over here. Child has grown up. seems fine if it's a minor raid, but it won't work if the siege stuff show up. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, its main goal, again, its main goal is just to protect the, uh, this area from, um, animals. Speaking of which, I should put another hunting camp here. You're not even, this boar isn't even attacking. It's just being perceived. <laughs> Hello? No. Goodbye. <laughs> well, actually, maybe I can leave this here. Is this helpful? I think this is helpful, actually. Let's just build another temporary work camp out there because... I do have farmers and miners out here, so like if they have to, if they have to get anywhere, that seems important. You know? My village is low on laborers. Yeah, only having 14 is kind of bad, eh? 
So I got two people working here, and I don't have any reason for them to do that yet. So let's go ahead and um, disable that. Hey, look at that. 166 fruit. Love to see it. Okay, when you move the building, it keeps its quota. Good. Seven bows. Is that even enough? One, two, three, four. Might have to bump this up again. Kits. None fish. Did I overfish this area? Shoot. I may have overfished. Let's spread them out a little. You know what we could do? We could also flatten this so I can actually I can actually wall it off properly. has been stricken with scurvy. Delightful. Alright, let's get another couple of houses here. I bet you if we build them, they will come. Maybe I haven't been getting more people. Because the excess housing I think I have is actually from those temporary shelters I've made. You know? How are you doing this morning, kids? Hope you're well. Hope you're chilling and partying like a rock star. Try and spread them out a little. Trying to recover from being overly sleepy. So we're like, um, I want to say, we're like... Not even a week into operation. What if I just simply got up at 6 a.m. and worked from then? And it's been, it's been interesting so far. I want to say it's been challenging, but it's been interesting. Actually, you know what I might be able to do? I might be able to get another park down. And maybe these overlapping parks. Actually, here's a random question. Maybe I'm supposed to alternate between park and... Um, I thought there was another 3x3 three three that makes people happy. 
weird little temple looking thing. Where is it? Small park is the three by three. Garden, no. Oh, the amenity, there we go. The shrine. Except the shrine has a monthly cost. Whereas the park does not. Yeah, they're not, it doesn't look like I need any overlap between these over and over. I mean, if I put a shrine in here though, I definitely make my money back if everything upgrades. What is the radius on this thing? It's kind of huge, TBH. If I get it further out, though. Yeah, the fact that there's only... Shrine also boosts spirituality, which is something they added rather than just added amenity. What if I... What do you think of the idea of alternating? Like, if I do garden, shrine, garden, shrine, you know? So in which case, I'd have to move this out. But it looks like the amenity range on a garden is actually kind of huge, right? Or a small park, right? So if it's here... Interesting. If it's here, it doesn't actually reach the full block on either side. Well, no, no, no. If it's there, hold on. If it's there, I would get full coverage from both sides. Right? Like, look at that. It hits. If I put it on the side, it hits the middle block of both of those houses. So I could take this move it here and once that's moved I'll, I'll try placing a shrine down and then you'll see there's a couple of um shelters there still instead of just homesteads and they've got everything they need except they're just a little bit shy of durability so Two children have grown up. Ooh, I wonder if I can finally get cows. Uh -huh. This reminds me of Banished, but with fewer mine and quarry deaths. We've had, we've lost quite a few villagers. We've had not none deaths. How many deaths have we had? Ten. I want to say half of those are to raiders. All right, so these are going to degrade pretty quick if this doesn't get built. So let's see if I can't prioritize that. What are my builders even doing? It's also interesting that that's taking a desirability hit when I've got overlap on both sides. I guess... I don't know what to guess. Hello? Well, that's the poop picker. Look at that, they're going from house to house. You made a graveyard next to my stone quarry and banished to save on labor? Oof. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing here? Hey, I'm glad I didn't sell that uh, those baskets before. Look at that. Uh, they don't want to take my candles, though. <gasps> cows! Oh my god, the cows have a great price, too. Okay. 
Okay. If I buy two cows, I can have infinite cows. That's so big. Cheapest possible below market cow price? Uh, for the low, low price <laughs> of 550 gold, you too can have cow. Um, oh, that's really bad. I need more money, like, now. What else can I sell for this? Well, 69 times 11 is enough, so that's good. Is that enough for at least two? It is huge. This game is great, the mechanics and flavor are great, but after building a few big towns, I'm hankering for some sort of win con. I don't know if this, I mean, at least to me, this game doesn't need a win con. That'd be, that'd be like saying that um, City Skylines needs a win con. Like sometimes a pure, a pure city builder is all I need. Yeah, we're gonna fix this. We're literally fixing this. The end game right now just seems like incrementally larger rates in an economic trading game. That's fair. And that doesn't spark joy for you? No. <laughs> uh -um. All right. I want to get some more crops going in this. So uh, wheat is minus six. P is plus one. This is... Plus three, so plus four altogether. So I need two more plus crops here. Heat tolerance, frost tolerance. So let's go like this. There we are. I just want a sense of you're done, but you can keep playing if you want to. I mean, the only time I've had that in a game, like stupid boars. <laughs> the only time I've had that in a game, I often stop at that point. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll respectfully disagree. I don't, in my pure city builders, I don't necessarily want that. Because, like, you kind of know when you've hit the end game, right? I don't know. I like that this genre is often quite self directed. Wow. Somebody finally wants to buy my medicinal herbs, but for none money. I'm drowning in these. I only have five. I only have. I don't have room. Oh, I mean, I can ditch it for fifteen hundred dollar dues. All right, what do we got? Skirv the butcher. Selling shoes. Nope. I don't think they have anything that we want. That's okay. Do I have anything I could sell them though? That's the real question. Oh my God, they buy tools for a fortune. What do you think? Do I offload? all of my herbs because we're broke or do we wait for a better price in the future Ugh. you're looking for a stardew valley 
type end game where you hit the goal but you can continue on if you want to i mean like minecraft is a weird example but like minecraft the the end of the game is so detached from the way most people play it right now it's kind of funny we're broke take what we can get yeah it's not like we're using the herbs anyways so let's just let's make 1500 bucks we we really need it you can always grow more yeah all right let's leave ourselves with a thousand and that'll give us an operating budget of wow look at that team order there oh my god a <clears> thousand <throat> in the bank and 1125 access holy moly All right, so these people shouldn't leave because now they're happy. Wait, did they upgrade the tier three? No. What's your current happiness at? 37. You should be fine. Also, did you see how as soon as we built this, like... <laughs> Five buildings in our surroundings, all at the exact same time upgraded. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's a whole genre of game where you really need to be self-motivated about goals. I mean, look, like I've got, what, 4,000 hours in Minecraft? So my, my opinion might be a little bit skewed. All right. Uh, this should get us pretty close to that 25 that we needed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need a couple more. Looks like if I make this a... Uh, if I make this another whatchamadoodle, we are cooking. So my opinion might might be different from yours. Oh, yes! The conga line has arrived. Minecraft is one of those games where for a lot of people the joy doesn't even really start until the end game. Yeah. God, I need these people so bad. Only seven. That's fine. And that's not to say... That's not to say that a game can't have end game content. I think there's a difference between needing... Like, that's a difference between a, a victory condition versus something to do past a certain point. I agree that this game doesn't necessarily scale in a very elegant way. Like, the... Even after the combat pass, the combat isn't quite where I want it to be. All right, I think I can get away with two more people. I think I need more shirts. I got seven. Let's put four of them to work. Hey, Arkans and Jenkins. Yo, that's a butter bean. Let's go. Thank you. Crops lost to animals. I put up fences. I, I, that's, I literally put up fences. Wait, it says crops lost to animals, and yet I've got the blotch. Interesting. Arkans and Jenkins, thank you, friend. I think you're wonderful. I appreciate that tremendously. I don't know if this is worth it. Using 40 sand to change this here? Hmm. 
Hm. Hm. Oh, look at that happiness now, though. Because once you get to a certain point, like 400 population, stable economy, unlocked everything. You're using like half of your population as the military to defend from raids. Hmm. For whatever reason, it reminds me of, um, I don't know how much Project Zomboid you've watched or you've checked out. I was watching a, a YouTube series. At a certain point, there's no victory condition. Like the whole the whole premise of the game is this is the story of how you die. At a certain point, the YouTuber is like, yep, I've hit all my goals. This was fun. GG. Like what else, what else do I have left to do? Maybe that's okay. I don't know. It's also interesting because at that point, like, you're what? 30 hours into the game. That's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, let's let's focus on this. I want to clear this out. I don't like some of these rocks. Butter beam. It's a big one. Thank you, friend. Look at this, by the way. Look at that combat aim bonus on the low ground. Oof. It's beautiful. Continue to establish our grid here. Gonna have to move all of this at some point. An impending blizzard. You're early. Well, my storage is all full up. All right, let's get another storage here. They can look at each other. You know what? I probably, I can probably say, hey, y'all, once we hit 500 clay in storage, we could probably cool it, right? Wait, can I not set a limit on my mines? Interesting. I can't. Okay, cool. Cool. Which these games didn't always just recreate capitalism, especially in this instance, as these are people who have fled feudalism and this is what they do. You mean they just get to a new destination and recreate all the systems they are experiencing ahead of time? <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> You're not wrong. There's another city builder I'm pretty hyped for, which is called uh, Lesara. I mean, another another interesting critique of the city builder city city builder genre is they're often they have like a very Western bias just in general, right? Western city, medieval city. So there's a, a city builder I've been kind of hoping to check out for a while now called Lesara, which is you're building on like the Alps, 
which is kind of cool. I don't know what word I would use to describe the architecture style. Maybe Tibetan? I don't know. All right, did I get any good upgrades here from this? I mean, maybe that's why um, Timberborn has re resonated with so many people. Dwarf Fortress, kind of. Oh, the Himalayans on the Alps, pardon me. Right, the Alps are very European. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. I mean, Dwarf Fortress, you just get back into, like, weird money-grubbing elites and ruling class later on, though. I don't know how different that is. Eventually, if you don't have a king and, like, shower them in silk, they get unhappy. All right, let's start clearing in here. Uh, you know what? I actually kind of like that these are here. The devs experimented with simulated capitalism at one point in the development of Dwarf Fortress and scrapped it because it made everything worse. That's very funny. <laughs> this view and the view at your window are kind of the same. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about some... Uh, some pretty heavy snowfall. All right, the next thing we really want to start working towards is bricks. Bricks is going to be a big get. So I think the next time we get a um, a good chunk of people is when we start turning this into some more industry. Because I don't believe any of the soil is fertile, right? No. That was the plan, right? A little bit of agriculture here. This was going to be industry. Town is going to go this way, and we probably need to make like this farmland later on. It's really funny. Like the best farmland I have is <laughs> right here, <laughs> right here where I want to put my town is like the best farmland. Ah, <gasps> my cows! Yes, yes. I have milk. Oh, I can make cheese. Oh my god. Chat, I can make cheese. Where's the cheese maker? Oh, is cheese a level three? Gah. Devastating. Preserve is also level three. Okay. Do I need caves for my cheese? What does that mean? This cheese not normally a, a normal thing. Oh, right. I need to start mining coal if I want to start using a kiln, right? Charcoal kiln, soap shop, candle shop, weaver. Wait, can I not make bricks until I hit level three as well? Brewery, foundry, blacksmith, brickyard. Ah, okay, everything is fine. Bedler the peddler is here. Ooh, that's a good price for shoes. Yeah, I'll sell 95 shoes. Let's go.
Just need the cows to multiply. It's true though. After cheddaring, cheese is often pressed and then stored in caves to develop probably outside of the scope of this game though. What if I just use cellars? Cellars are kind of like artificial caves, you know? The U.S. National Cheese Reserve uses some of the finest caves in the country. Like, the idea behind a cave is it's just like a root cellar, right? You just keep it underground because it's temperature stable. Also, I love the phrase U.S. Strategic Cheese Reserve, like y'all. <laughs> Maybe I start buying bricks. Like Canada and the maple and the maple syrup. Who told you? That's supposed to be a state secret. Ooh, I have 29 laborers. Okay, hold on. Um, I could get coal mines going. So I thought we saw coal somewhere nearby, right? Right, there's coal out here. Oh, more blueberries. So that's a bit of an issue, because if I remember correctly, oh, it's not that far. Oh, it's pretty far still. Over here, I believe there's a bandit camp. Not my fault. Quebec is terrible at keeping secrets. Isn't it, though? I don't know about that. Hey, Evil Gala. Thank you so much for using your prime here. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a great day. 19 months. You're great. Look at this, we got blueberries for days. I don't know why, but moving these blueberry bushes is kind of like one of my favorite parts of the game. So I believe a second trader just showed up and let's see if we can get some stonks going. All right, Ander Plains Rider. Look at that, man, we bought our cows for 550. We lucked out. All right, cheese, tallow, shoes for six, bind shoes for nine. Oh, that is a good ROI. Do you even have enough money to buy all these shoes? All right, I need to buy something on this side. Uh, baskets, clay, pottery, shirts. Oh my God, my shirts. Let's go. So baskets for 18. No. Oh, candles. What did I buy these candles for? I thought I bought them for low, low. So that is a profit, technically. Beer, five. Beer, four. Ah, capitalism. Uh-oh. They don't have enough money. I mean, I guess I could turn beer into two more cows just to accelerate cows. I have to buy one more cow. It's not a great price, but I'm going to buy one more cow just so I can get as much money as possible out of uh, out of this. How much more money do you have? Yeah, I could just turn beer into cows, and I think I'm okay with that. 
Uh, am I? I could turn shirt into cows. I want to make sure I come out of this with money, though. Not with cows. <laughs> just wondering, like, what else I should buy here. Maybe this is good enough. Maybe I just buy 30 more beers. And now we're at, we started at 1,000. We're now at 1,600. And we got a cow out of it. Homo fabulin. Oh my God, another butter bean. Friends, another huge milestone. Oh, we need some hearts for that one. That's a big, big deal. Thank you very, very, very much for the support. Hope you enjoy your toasty new bean. I think you're great. Wow. It's a bit of a shame that they have no money because that's a very good price for linen. But you know what? Here we are. What do you think? Should I turn shirts into cows? 15 times 26 is like 450. It's not a full cow. It's fine. So once again, if we keep, let's say, a thousand in here. The rest of the surplus goes on this side. Oh my god, we are positive. Okay, what are we at? Oh my goodness. We have all the milestones. We just need $2,000. Once we get to 2K, you know, ooh, it's a little bit risky. No, we've got lots in stock. We could transfer another 500 out. And then that puts us, it's a little risky. I just wanna, I just wanna get to the next tier. Tier three has just started. Oh, that's a big deal. All right, uh, with that, I think I'm gonna take a very short bio break. But when we come back, we're going to be entering tier three. That means bricks. Oh, it's good stuff. All right, be right back.
Hello. How are you doing? Uh, we return. We return and we're chilling. Occasionally you want the traders to leave with more money than they came in with. Do you though? Because there are definitely traders that enjoy going to an area and buying goods for cheap. Like these might be good or bad prices for us. We have no idea when they get back to the kingdom what they're selling our stuff for, right? <laughs> right? We loaded this person up with uh, with linen shirts. How do we know they're not flipping them for like a hundred when they get back to the kingdom? Ooh, seven new villagers. That's so big. All right, once this is done upgrading, big, big, big for us. All right, once this is done upgrading, it's time to start investing in some new industries here. And I definitely think the first one needs to be coal. All right, coal's gotta be this way. No gold storage. Gold ingot gains could not be stored. What? All right, is there a hill around here? There is. We got a hill right here. Let's build that first and then we need to make another Narkuru Fort Hill here. I somehow got the math wrong. A good, good, again, good. Love it. You love to see it. Okay, next thing we want to do out here is we want to get a temporary housing and a well. And a hunter's cabin. It's under food. Wait, I've got a hunter's cabin right here. Just move it. And then once that's all done, we get to make the coal mine. Oh my God. I can't believe it's not coal. Yeah, the merchant. I guess I could buy these poor quality shirts. Gets back to the kingdom. Buy our finest linen shirts in the land. <laughs> From the mystical lands of Avalon. Consider outsiders view our town as being a little dull. But a theater. A theater. Wow. I have to build an entire theater. The theater prompt feels honestly a little bit early. When they give it to you. Because like... I really don't think you want it as early as they want you to want it, you know? Pardon me. It's like really expensive. I, for one, would be like, ah, welcome to tier three. Now that you're here, you should consider expanding your industries into like metal production and whatever. Am I low on fire wood? I 
Oh, you can set production limits here. Amazing. My poor fish. I feel as though I have overfished this pond. This hunter also appears to be striking out. Good. Cool. Love it. Like, if that's the case, maybe I just move this. Because there's, like, pretty successful hunting out here, right? Uh, maybe I just... Hmm. I don't know, give it a try. Ooh, more blueberries. Let's go. Wait, where do they go? My blueberries go here. I guess I only want one more, and then this field is kind of full. Morning, young nader. You didn't think it was possible, but your day has somehow gotten worse? I am so sorry to hear that. <laughs> that sucks. I'm tempted to make another forger here, honestly. it slightly more this way. Anything over here worth forging for? Not really. Oh, the coal mines are ready. All right, how many people do we have? 38, incredible. Start getting a lot of coal. I mean, can I just put all eight people into here? I think I can. I think coal is that important. Ooh, big snowy day. Hello. Goodness. What is this? Is a blizzard? Oh my god, I can't see anything. I do find it interesting that many city builders have a kind of dissonance with more historical context. When a city gets big enough, it has a, at least a bit of everything. For gameplay purposes, city builders like this seemingly make you generalists almost immediately rather than specializing in whatever the draw is. I mean, uh, Anno is really interesting. Anno is a really interesting game because it, um, it kind of makes you specialize in cities. Like... Some areas only have very specific things, and then a big part of the game is setting up, like, trade routes and connecting everything to each other. 
So maybe maybe that's more your vibe. I don't know. It's an interesting problem, certainly. I think the other thing I want to do if I have excess labor is I want to try and mine all of this out. When do you get nicer roads? I think I can upgrade them now, actually. This cost me stone, of which I have a fair amount, TBH. So, uh, roads that could definitely be upgraded. And I think I get to move like slightly faster on them. This one seems like a no-brainer. We could also upgrade our walls. Oh my god, we could upgrade our walls. You know what? Actually, let's do that right now. Great suggestion. Hold shift to deselect. How much is this going to cost me? 320 stone. Well... Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Let's go. It's just going to look so much better when it's all stone. The good games are the ones that let you specialize if you want to? Sure. I mean, in this game, you can specialize and focus primarily on on exports. I mean, one of the big things that I did was spent a vast, vast, vast majority of my time re-rolling, so I did have access to everything, but I don't think you have to. All right, this hunter sucks. I need to do something else with this hunter, clearly. What if I just destroyed it? Nice. Crops lost to disease. Again, huh? Still only have three cows. Three children have grown up. How many people am I at now? 27 there. All right, interesting. Work areas are empty and need to be moved. I mean, this building is literally being destroyed, so whatever. All right, I need to make another housing area, and I think it's going to be here. Uh, does my work camp have a negative desirability bonus? I actually don't know. It does. I'm being attacked. God, I'm being attacked from the bad direction, y'all. Shoot. Oh, by the way, though, look at that. Well, this honks. Call in the garrison. Oh, I'm being attacked from two directions. Oh.
kind of feel like my work camp needs to move out here. Does it? Can't stay here. What is it? Some kind of pincer maneuver? Yeah. now. This is terrible news. 33 raiders. Uh-oh. Hey, we got a baby. That's good at least. Oh, here we go. They're up here. Okay, time for y'all to run. Swear to God, don't you hurt my cows. Okay, let's check over here as well now, just in case. I definitely feel like I've overfished this area, by the way. I mean, hold on. Still produced hundreds of fish. Can I cancel the destruction order? No, nope, it's gone forever. All right, cool. So I don't see any raiders attacking from this side yet. Yet. Can I get you to go back in your tower, please? Oh, don't wait for my command, please. <laughs> get into your tower. Will you have your bow and your arrow? Oh, no. I pulled my guards out of my tower chat. And I also positioned them outside of the wall. Real quick, are we being attacked from the other direction yet? Not that I see. So one of the nice things I'm seeing here is, wait, what am I seeing? Is this my peasants? No, these are the bandits. Oh, geez. Why? Why are they running in this direction? Where are they going? Why? Why? Why are they here? Why are they like this? Okay. They're in. Now what? Uh-oh. Where are you going? What are you raiding? What? I guess it's got food. <clears throat> okay. This one hunter managed to pull them all this way. Good. I think. Nice. There we go.
you do not retreat towards... No. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Wild stuff. Okay, all right. Truly bizarre. Oh my god! Why are they attacking my peasants? They never attack my peasants. What the heck? This isn't normally how they do that. This is normally how they operate. They're slaughtering my peasants! My peasants! Not the peasants! Oh my god, why did my garrison pop out? Why do they let me do that? Why on earth would they let me pull my garrison out of my building like that? <clears throat> Can I not put them back in? No. Oh, these precious idiot peasants running around everywhere. Oh, I hate this. Okay, y'all. The fact that they made a combat update and you can do that is mind-boggling. Oh my goodness. Okay, also this sucks. I lost at least three villagers. Devastating. Devastating. This upsets Surge greatly. <sighs> it might be time to wall off her entire town. Now that this happened, because I didn't think they would just attack houses, you know? Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad for all of the peasants. Oh, hey. The Narkuru Tower. Don't chase. We did have plenty of stone. Uh, Keyword there would be past tense, had. <laughs> we used all of our stone on walls. Actually, can I buy stone? Or are they leaving me? I waited too long and I think they all left. Hey, what's up, Heron? Welcome back to the PNW. Thank you. I do appreciate it. 
It's good to be back. The new digs are, you know, place is all right. Hey, good morning, Raven. Good to see you. What's this? Peas, beans, buckwheat, and carrots. Well, it's a good thing the second crop isn't also... Wait, what's the second crop? Beans. What does the arrow mean? Does the arrow... Does the check mark mean I'm done for the season? I think I'm doing the right thing. All right. Oh, that honked so hard. All right. It looks like I need actual defenses everywhere. Like here. I don't know what a tower there would have done. Maybe something, anything. Ah, we had deaths. I hate deaths. Okay, so I need to move. I need to move my work camp because now where my work camp is is where I want more city to go. What if I just did the same thing but I moved it like twice as far? I can just put it out here. Got a bit of protection here. Love it. Yes, I would love to accept them. I'll put another temporary work camp out here. I think is the is the good plan. And I need to make uh, new houses, which is very exciting. Good morning, friends who are just waking up. Hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you've got exciting stuff planned. So we're actually just reaching the edge of where I wanted to build this city anyways. So... That being the case. Right? We can we can start to fortify, you know? Morning, Herman. Did everybody wake up at the same time? A lot of hellos at quarter two. Very interesting. Okay, completely out of stone. Very good. How are we doing over here? How are we doing over here? What are people messaging me about? 6.45 p.m. My village was raided. I lost six buildings and three villagers. The villagers dying is the part that really annoys me. Did I have to adjust to the hour difference between Alberta and BC? No, I just started an hour earlier. <laughs> Rather than adjust, I decided to suffer.
They're not dead. They just went to a farm upstate. I mean, upstate, unfortunately, is right here. <laughs> Goodbye, Ripperoni. Oh, that's a bear. It's just an entire bear. It's okay. Bear's about to have a bad day. Yeah, I just wish the self-preservation instincts of my villagers were just a little better, you know? You think the bear would outrun a villager? No, it's not fair, is it? You gotta give the villagers a fighting chance. Oh, they smashed my 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 fence. My animal fence. How dare they? What is this? Are you telling me, chat, you couldn't outrun a bear in a straight line? You couldn't. <laughs> that's, that's just fact. Wow, I've got so many... So many extra workers here. Once again... One of my absolute favorite things is um, men who think they can win fights against certain animals. <laughs> Have you... I'm probably going to get it wrong at this point, but there's this beautiful survey of like a pole of guys and you're like, could you win in a fight against X? And it'd be like, you know, could you fight a dog? And most people are like, ah, I could fight a dog. And it's like, could you fight a bald eagle? And a lot of people just vastly overestimating <laughs> what they think they could take. Right, yeah, yeah, there was a great one. How many men who think they could, like... Was it, it was, like, either score a point on Serena Williams or even, like, how many men who think they could, like, return her serve? percent of people confidently claiming they could fight a grizzly bear barehanded have you seen a black bear i could lie to myself and say maybe a black bear they're like they're like the little they're like the little fellas of the bear world but a grizzly oh my god oh hey i'm out of firewood that's terrible news i need to remedy that immediately There's a koala count. I mean, sure. You could fight a moose. You know what else loses in a fight against a moose? A car. <laughs> could you fight a car? I bet you couldn't. <laughs> like... <laughs> People don't understand that grizzly bears have four inch claws. Like. This. <laughs> they have these on all of their hands. <laughs> Here, for context. For context, right? <laughs> like, banana for scale. <laughs> Do 
Do you keep a tape measure at all times? Look, I just moved into a place and I've been trying to, <laughs> I've been trying to hang up art, all right? It's not on my lap, it's on my desk, please. <laughs> I've got a level handy as well. Hey, so yesterday, I ran out of energy halfway through. Yesterday, we went around the house and we just like looked at all of our art and all the walls that the art could go on to. Uh, and then I was like, I do not have the energy to like measure because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna hang up art, it needs to be level, right? So I need to, you know, like oh the only th the other thing I want to use this is also just on my desk. Has anybody ever used these before? These are the three M like weird. They kind of look like bandage Velcro strips. And for this, I would absolutely need a tape measure, right? Because you need to, you need to figure out like you need to make sure they line up, you know. So you put them on the back of your art, and then you measure the distance. And you put them on the wall, and then you have to like. There's a lot of math involved, and y'all know I don't do math. So, anyways, I got as far as lining up every piece of art with the wall that it will eventually go on, and uh, <laughs> and then stopped. <laughs> You stick them together onto the art and then press it onto the wall. Sure. Well, you need two pieces though, right? Because it doesn't grip the wall. I was under the impression. Hold on. Maybe I fundamentally misunderstand how these work. Yeah, it's it's like Velcro. You have two pieces. You put one into the other and then they, they click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, math. Math. Did not have it in me. You don't need to guess on the wall. Just level it. Yeah, but all right, here's an example. All right. I need to make sure that the distance from here to here is the same on the wall. Just stick the Velcro together first. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset right now. Just put it on the painting. Make sure it's level. <sighs> oh my God. So I'm going to be honest, you know, sometimes everybody knows that reading comprehension is a skill, right? <laughs> oh, and for whatever reason, I was like, I'm looking at the diagrams. I'm reading the box and I'm just like, it's not clicking. It's just not clicking, right? My brain entirely too smooth. Wow. Huh. <laughs> huh. Nothing smoothes out your brain faster than moving. Yeah. The stream crashed on my end, so it looked like the realization struck Surge so hard he turned off the stream. <laughs> God, I wish this dream is over. <laughs> wild, absolutely wild stuff. 
Oh, this is bad. These people are going to move out because I don't have the stone. Oh, no, I have stone for this now. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah, have you ever just cancel a stream and shame? Asking for a friend. <laughs> My milk is spoiling. Terrible news. <gasps> I can make cheese. Just stick it to the wall forehead. God. My workers do not have tools. My workers need tools. Do they not have flax? What is a tool? They have a thousand flax. They need tools. They didn't say they needed tools. Why do they suddenly need tools? Are you happy, chat? Are you happy that we are finally starting? Finally starting to wall off the entirety of our city? Like, we know where the walls are going to go now, which is kind of cool. Do I have the wood for this? Kind of. How you doing, Jessica? Low desirability is making people want to leave. We'll stop that. You're mostly just sad that we need walls? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the bandits would never attack my peasants. I mean, they're peasants. What could they possibly have? They have cool houses inside of a walled city. Not these peasants. Not yet. <laughs> Everyone knows that the stuff on one side of the wall is the good stuff. Are we going to get back to the conversation of the Little Mermaid again? Kind of feels like we're going to start talking about the Little Mermaid again. There's so many deer here. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Dang. Are there domesticated animals in the game? Yes. Dogs and cats? No. There are. There were cows. Uh, the recent updates added chicken, goat, and horse as well. What happens when the invaders make a wall around my wall? Uh, then it depends. Oh, Heron, thank you so much for getting us out of the husk. It depends on whether we have eyes or not. Uh, if there's no eyes, then they capture everything that's been walled off. Um, otherwise, uh, we are happily contained within it. That's a, a little Go joke for you. People still appreciate Go. Makes sense. Mm. Good. You want to learn Go? I got really, really into that game when I was in university. Kind of to like an unhealthy level. 
if I'm honest. You want to start a club for people who want to learn? Go is easy to learn, difficult to master? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, there was a... um. <laughs> so, there was a UVic Go Club. When I was at the University of Victoria, there was a Go Club. And my buddy, my best friend and roommate, uh, somehow wound up as the president of the UVic Go Club. You're like, sure, you know, as one as one does, that that happens sometimes. You know, you just become the president of a of a club. Uh, but he didn't really care all that much, and so it's not like you know we recruited a bunch of other members or anything like that. So when he was done with it, basically like the year that he graduated, he's just like, I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this club. So he kind of just, I don't know, he kind of just let it die, right? You know, thinking that maybe maybe somebody else is going to show up one of these days and uh, do something with the club. So then the next step to this story is the university approaches and they're like, hey, if there's no active club, you need to empty out your club locker come grab all of this stuff and just like get it out as the as the last former president this is your responsibility and we're like okay kind of weird but you know whatever um and then the uvic go club had been around for years if not decades so suddenly we're carrying out totes of like books and boards and go stones. I'm talking like thousands of dollars of stuff. Cause like go is not cheap, right? Just like a nice chessboard isn't cheap. Go stuff isn't cheap either. Um, and then he eventually leaves Victoria and then all the stuff just ends up in my, just, it just ends up in my storage room. Just like a storage room, like, you know, an apartment has like a locker somewhere. And I'm just like, what am, what, what am I supposed to do with all of this stuff? So then fast forward, I want to say like 10 years. Um, and there's a, there's a, a, just a Victoria Go Club. There's just a bunch of like, you know, guys who get together once a week and they play Go. I need this to stop happening. I need this powdery whatchamadoodle just to stop happening. Let's move. Sorry. Give me a second here. I'll finish the story in just a second. I don't want to get that close to the heat area, though. Whatever, let's try that. So anyways, I'm I'm chatting with these old acquaintances of mine from the, uh, this, like, the Victoria Club of Go players and stuff like that. Um, and he mentions that a brand new UVic Go Club has started. And I was like, well, 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 no kidding. A go club. And so just one day, kind of unannounced, I show up and I was like, hey, I'd like to make a donation to the <laughs> the UVic go club. And they're like, oh, that's cool. That's so generous. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, bam. I show up with like 20 go boards, all these stones, dozens of books on like how to play the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're like, this is amazing. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I totally didn't just like steal all the stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. As a, as a fee, as a rental fee, I did keep one go board for myself. And it's one of the nice ones. Like, this is just a beautiful go board. 
Like, look at the, look at the size of this thing, right? Like, it's solid wood. It's got the feeties. I kept, I kept a nice one for me. Like, as a 10-year rental fee, yeah. So, yeah, if people ever want to jam, you know? For context, there were four boards like that. I didn't keep like the only nice one. <laughs> All right, uh, a traveling merchant has arrived. Welcome, welcome. I'm so broke. Buy my everything. All right, so you wanna buy shirts? Love it, love it, good. Oh, we got food. You wanna sell shoes? Oh, that's a cheap price for meat. You know? I got five months worth. I'd buy 300 meat. It's so cheap. Was it the nicest one at least? It was on par. I would say that all four of those boards were about equal. Oh, it's still dying. That's really frustrating. Peas, beans, buckwheat, carrot. Please go away, disease. A child has grown up. Do an AFK where you teach Go? I, is that interesting? Like, teaching Go is... Like, basic... I worry that the audience will have no idea what's happening is one thing, right? For a ghost stream, like, it's not a very visually interesting game, you know? the field rest for an entire year. It's kind of what I'm doing. Well, it doesn't get affected. It doesn't affect flax. So I'm going to let that crop cook. But that's fine. What a bang. You wouldn't mind learning Go, says Matt. Interesting. Interesting. A Go stream might be interesting if you had a guest. Like if somebody... Well, even then. So like if you have a guest, like say we invite somebody who knows how to play Go. Then you have two people who know how to play Go, just like playing against each other. Maybe that's interesting. I don't know. So, I mean, uh, we did have a stream where I think it was Andre came in and taught people how to play Mahjong. Is that? Oh, that did not flatten that. That actually lumpified it. Wow, this this hill. <laughs> We've really done a number on this hill. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I'm supposed to do like this. How many times has Crokinole been played? I don't know, actually. I have never once played it. All right, how are we doing here? You want to buy clay. That's a good price for clay, but I can make better. You sell cow. You sell stone. Am I rich enough to buy stone? Oh my god. I mean, hold on. I could sell stone for a profit. Buy it for six, sell it for seven. If I buy a hundred.
All right, so I just made 100 gold off of that. Maybe as a treat, I could buy myself 100. What do you think? I am so stone poor. Love this game. Hate leveling terrain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is there a more iconic problem than... Wait, hold on. Five, five. Oh, it's the same price, man. We could have made bank on clay there. Is there a more iconic problem than um, city builders and trying to flatten terrain? Right? Um... I need a hundred stone. I just need a hundred stone. I just wish I had something I could buy from you to turn into literally anything else. I bought beef already. I could buy really cheap medicine. buy a hundred again and then what we're going to do is we're going to sell all that they can buy and then wait did i go the wrong way oh shoot i bought it for a hundred wait no everything is correct all right what's the most you can take There we go. And now we transfer the other 56 to us. There we go. There we go. We got there. All right. So I came out of this with, I made a profit of 36 gold. We started there. A profit of 36 gold and 56 stone and 17 medicine. I also got 17 medicine out of this. So I didn't really make money, but I did come out of this ahead. Cool. All right, time to, while over here. How close can I move this without causing an issue? Can I get this over here? Do I have a fish smoker over by these fishers? Oh, I sure don't. Appear to be all out of fish. No, we good now. What kind of raids have I had so far? Um, up to about 30 people. 30 people. I've gotten the stupid um, siege wagons, whatever they call it, the covered battering rams. So nothing like too, too scary, but also still not great. Uh, the last raid we had, they started burning down my villages, my huts, so that made me sad. So we're starting to wall everything off entirely. Because how dare they? There we go. I think we... Did a good job. Ten out of ten path, no notes. Wood path again. All right. Anyways, now that we're moving these, the goal is going to be to build a charcoal kiln. No, not charcoal. Uh, we want to start getting bricks. The brickyard. Oh, 
want to put it right beside the right beside the well there because this is definitely a fire risk Need some towers? Yeah. Agreed. What are you talking about? I got a tower right there. Ugh. Fort Hill. Hill Fort. So I need towers here and here. Look how good this looks though, eh? Only one is not upgraded. Why is this wall lumpy? Like, our little area there looks cute as heck, right? Slowly losing all my money. Feels great. Good. That's what we like to see. What am I losing money on? Spirituality. Man, like, minus 40 to guard training is brutal. Right? No, 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 no. They're, they're, there's no holes. They're just taking their sweet time <laughs> finishing stuff. How are we doing over here? Good. Got a lot of laborers. Are they sitting on the fence, so to speak? Lord help them if they are. I mean, I got, I got people. Let's get these resources out of the ground, you know? Actually, I think I don't have enough tallow currently. At least until the cows start cooking. It looks like we need another hunting area right here to protect my crops. Okay, once we start getting some bricks going, we can start upgrading our cellars, we can start upgrading all kinds of stuff. Yeah, brick is such a huge upgrade. Like, look at this. Everything needs bricks. I think I actually want to raise the maximum here to... Uh, let's go with 500 for now. Because things can start getting really expensive plank-wise. Like, what does this need? 200? Yeah, okay. Wait, this animal has gone rogue and has wandered off. Is it possible to say that? You're obviously still inside. A, hold on. <laughs> You're still inside of the fenced off area. What do you mean gone rogue? Hold on. How rogue could they have possibly gone? <laughs> like...
I don't think they understand what go gone rogue means. So what does it cost me to get a permanent thing? I have to hit tier four. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not in like forever mining territory for a while here. Oh, big negative to desirability. So my infinite gold mine, you're telling me is, uh, hello? This is fenced off. Consider fencing your fields to keep wildlife out. Like, yo, like, The mines do have a big desirability hit, but it isn't that big um, area-wise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a huge thing to upgrade right off the bat is probably this. This is probably my first upgrade. Getting larger radius off the markets is huge. Could it be because the cow area is technically overlapping the field? It could be, you know? Dysentery, my goodness. Um, Can I move that? Hey, what's up, Rach? Like, I was kind of hoping that the fences are smart enough to keep him on the outside, but maybe not. People can die from dysentery. Man. Who is this Terry guy? Why is he making it so hard for us? Let's get another apiary over here. On a bit of a lunch break, delightful. We're doing good, look at this. Look how cute our little place is, you know? All right, oh my God. I think you might be right, which is so frustrating. All right, give me a quick second, friends. I need to take a short bio break. You'd live here, I appreciate that. I will be right back.
Hello, I return. Yo, oh my goodness. Uh, real quick there, Seth says, just use their prime. That's our third Butterbean of the day, which is an amazing milestone. So thank you so, so, so much. All right, how do I move where my cows are grazing? I hate this. I hate that my cows are eating my other stuff. Relocate building. Hey, Fall Pier, thank you so much for 46 months. You make hamburgers? Well, no, I want, I want, I want more than that. Okay, so I can't move. This is bad for everybody. Oh, look at this. We're making bricks. Let's go. So you want cheeseburger? If I if I have no cows, I can't get no milk. Now we're losing crops to frost. Wow. What a what a what a harvest we're gonna get here. What are we actually gonna get out of this? Estimated yield, 800. Wow. Devastating. How many moomoos do I have anyways? Five! Five moomoos. Wow. But I got raided? I got raided! I got a huge raid! Oh my god! Hi! <laughs> I totally missed that. Hi, everybody! How you doing? Apologies, I was in the washroom. That's so funny. What up? Hey, um, welcome. This game is called Farthest Frontier. It's one of my favorite city builders of all time. It is absolutely stunning. And if you look at the a description of the perfect Surge game, you know, spreadsheet meets aesthetic. How do you make management games pretty? This is so my jam. So my jam. Also, big Amy fan, just in general. Stop eating my crops! Stop it! That's not for you! You have food. Look, I gave you root vegetables and you give me milk. That was the agreement. Stop stealing my wheat. I'll lose it. <sighs> Are we sure it's the cows? Is it the cows fault? Why did I put the crops in their pasture? I didn't. There's a fence. Look. The, uh, you swear you saw a cow on the side? Are they not respecting the fence? Are you telling me this fence does nothing? Would I respect a fence if there was food on the other side? I don't just walk into kitchens. <laughs> if I go to a restaurant, I respect the boundary between me as the customer and them as staff. So yeah, <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> like... <laughs> Not even to give the cook a high five? Here's, here's a pro tip. Never high five kitchen staff, but what you can do, the food safe elbow. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't give them a high five, but I would give them the food safe elbow. You walk up and you just go boop. High fives aren't sanitary. It's true. You can tell the kitchen folk from the not kitchen folk. I'm watching them like a hawk. 
The food safe elbow is the worst finisher in the history of pro wrestling. Is it though? I gotta be honest though. If I if there was a wrestler named like the cook, right? You gotta let him cook and they finish people off with a food safe elbow. I'd think that's kind of sweet. I'd be like, no, 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 no. I'm down. Think like what other kitchen related moves could they have? They could have the crop duster. If you know, you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> they walk in with a serving tray. No, man. The more I think about this, the more I love this guy. The health inspector. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, there's a wrestler named Luigi Pizza Man. Incredible. He wrestles while throwing pizza dough. Like, throws it in the air, punches, and then catches. That's, yes. I'm here for all of this. This is incredible. The whole time. Man. I don't watch enough wrestling. I don't watch any wrestling. Oh, sorry. Their name is Luigi Primo. Huh. Oh, God. All right. Anyways, how are we doing here? There's like four shows with this walk around the ring with a clipboard and argue with the refs before one of their faces gets fed up. Getting matches canceled and challenging them. Hmm. How are the goats doing? Uh, you know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have some good looking farmland? This is our first question. I mean, I did. I did have good looking farmland until these, uh, these cows started dipping their toes where they don't belong, you know? Wow, that's a lot of deer. Hold on. I think I found the actual problem. I think the actual problem here Look how many deer there are. Look at this. These are the thieves. We're not going to blame the cows. The cows are blameless. What if I made this goat goat country? Hold on. Is it arable? It's not even arable. This looks like primo goat country right here. Where where else is there good farmland? Not really a lot, eh? The great farmland, ironically, is right where all my buildings are going to go. I guess I can make some farmland out here. That's a really far way to walk. All right, let's get let's get some goats out here. I've never made goats before. They were added in the latest patch. So, goat goats get me milk as well. And goat barn. just a barn goat cheese is better than cow cheese Ooh. what do you think chat agree or disagree goat cheese or cow cheese I think it depends. I would not agree with that for everything. Hey, Morinder, thank you so much for five months. My only regret is not properly subbing ages ago. I appreciate that. I prefer goat cheese on salad. I think, yeah. Good in different ways. Mm. Goat cheese makes excellent mac and cheese. Really? Interesting. Cheese is an abomination, no matter the source. Tell me you're lactose intolerant without telling me you're lactose intolerant. Those are some good a woos out there. 
<laughs> oh yeah, what did cheese burn down your village? All right, I don't have any money. So I can't make any more guards, but hopefully sometime soon we can get more money. Oh, I'm on slow. There we go. We, f we found the problem. I was like, why does it feel like nothing's happening? Anyways, Matt, I'm going to invest heavily into goats, and I do worry that they're going to bankrupt me, but I want you to know I'm doing this anyways, just for you. Goats always give good returns. I don't know if you're going to appreciate the kind of goat returns I'm going to be looking for around here. Just, just need you to... Just to manage some expectations right off the bat, you know. You had a cheese pie for lunch today. When you say cheese pie, do you mean like five cheese pizza? Or do you mean like a savory cheesy pie? Like a quiche. Like a cheesy quiche. When I was in Switzerland last year, I got to have authentic Swiss raclette. That's an excellent source of, uh, it's an excellent source of cheese right there. You managed to get that road straight, did I? Sure did. Slope is too steep. Well, fix that, please. <laughs> no. Did I have it with shrimp and dill? I did not. I had my raclette with meat and potato and bread. Like a peasant. Presumably. I'm, I'm assuming that's, that's like peasant fare. But in my defense, it was delicious. You have to have it with shrimp and dill. So, potentially unpopular opinion. I'm very medium on shrimp. And I'm very, very unfond of dill. Ugh, dill? Miss me with those pickles. I am, no, not for me. Not for me. So, this road is not straight. I think we can all tell that this road um, must must conform to the grid. What's the dill with pickles? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> just, just so we're all clear. All right, now, can I build houses here? I can't, no, that's a hunting cabin. Okay, that's a problem. Wait, no, they just have to go this way. What am I going to do here? How do I how do I put houses on this? So, which way were they always facing? They're always facing this direction and this direction. Okay. Hey, Revenant. Thank you very much for the 100 biddies. Surge not liking Dill has put Chad in a tough spot. We're in a real pickle now, gang. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, new livestock was born. Great news. 
We're now up to six Moomoo's. And is my goat barn ready? It's not. Let's see if we lucked out. Let's see if Matt has any luck. Ah, unlucky. They're only selling horses. Sorry, Matt. Ooh, daggers are on sale, though. Only $94 for daggers. Ooh, uh, I want to sell all of these. 141. Uh, let's move the baskets. So baskets are a terrible deal right now. I'm not going to sell those at that price. I could sell more booties. Keep 10 booties. Keep 10 soap. Heron! Wow, Heron just gifted a year to Matt. Wow! Thank you so much. That's so generous, friend. <gasps> Wait! Buying pottery for 12? Or selling pottery for 12? Buying pottery for 15? Oh, stonks. All right, and then... Is there any way I can get money out of you? So I buy this from you, and then what do I buy back? Then I buy shoes for nine? Not yet. Candles for... All right, well, first things first. Time to make some money. Time to make some bank, right? They got $2,100. Okay, they're now broke. Crap. Okay, they're already broke. If they're already broke, what do I do? What do I buy from them? Oh, I buy weapons. I buy weapons, right? Uh, let's buy 10 of these. And I go back here and then I buy this and I want to get $1,000 worth. So like... Okay. So now I need something for you to buy. You're going to buy my shoes. I can buy bricks from them. That would just accelerate me a little bit here. Three thousand gold. Your bank. You're broke. You got nothing for me. So now all of my guard tower people can stop complaining about not having daggers. What do I sell them? I just don't like that they have so much money, you know? You know? Does it make anybody else uncomfortable? I could sell them my soap at a loss. Oh, they left. Well, that sucks. Uh, I could continue to turn pottery into knives. They ditched with all the money? Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? Was I the raider all along? No, of course not. No, 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 no. Buy all my people hot tubs from the trader. They deserve hot tubs. I... In this economy, Hosk? All right, let's, let's move some money over because I am kind of broke. Okay, I need a good source of agriculture. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Time to upgrade this. And that should be the last boost we need for everything else. All right, market is market is ready. Increased durability, reduced rate of spoilage. 
additional workers. Oh, speaking of additional workers, I should be absolutely having two people in each of these. Oh, everything is ready for upgrade. Um, how full are you? Does it have additional storage? It does. That's a lot of money. Considering we're currently negative on cash flow, I think I'm going to hold off on a lot of these upgrades right now. Specifically because... Oh, this road is not where I wanted this road to be. Specifically because I need... Um... Wait, did I destroy a road? Unpathable terrain. It's fine. I forgot where I was going with my sentence. It was specifically because, but I don't remember what that meant. I leveled the ground to the point of having a cliff. It's a beautiful cliff though, right? Nine new people? Yes. Has anyone here looked at Foundry? Is Foundry a new video game? Oh, there it is. All right, nice. So why have you not upgraded yet? Uh, you're only at 29. Foundry is the new Minecraft meets Factorio game published by Paradox. I mean, there's, so it's funny. There's a bunch of new games in that, in that sphere that look like they're coming out pretty quickly. Uh, there's also Bitcraft. Uh, Bitcraft seems really, really interesting. Uh, and sounds absolutely like like a Minecraft knockoff that you'd buy from like the Android store or something like that, right? Like Bitcraft, okay. Boundary is a first person factory builder with complete creative freedom. Right. It's the it's like the Minecraft one in that you can uh chop chop all of the individual voxels, if that's correct. Alright, we got room for a lot more people, which is good. So the next thing we can do. Uh, now that we've got bricks being mass produced, we could probably start getting iron being produced as well. Because I've got a ton of iron ore. Where is it? Almost 800 iron ore. If I start turning these into ingots, uh, then we're laughing. How's the poop removal going, by the way? Oh, speaking of poop removal, goats! All right, so let's set our goat grazing area to here. Oh, that noise. Got there. I mean, this looks like good farmland as well. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> me. Ha, 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 ha. 
Oops. There we go. Good goat noises. Thank you. When is Foundry out or whatever? Wait, what is happening here? Who are all of you people? Wait, are these all laborers just getting ready to like absolutely clear cut this whole forest? Wow. Actually a little bit terrifying. <laughs> Look at how many people we suddenly mobilized. Looks like I need to start getting another source of stone. I really wanted to keep this rock. I can move this rock. I like this big one. This big one's got a story to tell, you know? Foundry has an anticipated release date of May 2nd. I can check that out. So, uh, potential upside. My buddy Fuji is between jobs right now. Upgrade that road. Costs stone. See the giant exclamation mark <laughs> of, hey, you don't have any resources. Oh, I did just spend all of my stone on these uh, on these walls too. Whatever. The walls, the goats must be protected. Looks like I need to, I probably need to like significantly start um, buying more, buying more stone from vendors when they show up. The armored goat strat, war goats, bandits will never come and mess with us now. How could they? We have war goats. Oh, I need stone here too. Dang it. So when do I get into the weird temple stuff? That's a pub. That's a theater. Festival, pole, sure, school, whatever. Temple. The central place of worship for the settlement that provides spirituality for the villagers. Sacred relics are stored and maintained here. So sacred relics are a new thing that we didn't play with previously. Oh, um, smallpox is a big one. Highly infectious. Begins with fever, malaise, and vomiting. Yeesh. So upgrading this is great. It puts us in a brand new tier. Uh, but it's 500 gold. And that, that worries me. Hey, we're finally um, um, income positive. And I think if I actually upgrade this as well, we'll get a second one going. I think I want to move it to this corner and then I want to upgrade it. And then once that's done, I think we're laughing. Smallpox, smallpox. Let's get a second doctor. Oh, good. Yeah, you sell that snake oil. Love it. You love to see it. Foundry has the same property as Tectonica, where I can solve my issues of belt riding by simply digging under the current belts. Ah, you don't you don't want to have to. I don't know. There's a certain satisfaction and limitation in having to perfectly solve everything that way. <laughs> it's also extremely frustrating. I 
How safe do these goats feel? Currently not very safe. Whenever I play a full house in Bellatra, I say full house Jaeger. Humbled and flattered. But also, as you should, you know, like, that is kind of my thing. So once we get iron cooking, the first thing I'm going to turn it into is not tools, not weapons. I'm going to turn it into barrels. You're going to call me uh, Serge Cooper Jaeger. That's all the barrels we're making. Oh, there's a joker you can unlock in Bellatro by discarding a full house. I had no idea. I didn't get a lot of the unlocks. You know the big unlock I'm missing on Bellatro is the um, the Joker that copies something to your left. That, I don't have that one. That's a big one. But I also don't know if like I'm capable of discarding a full house. Like that's that's a pretty big betrayal, TBH. Yeah, that's a very... Honestly, the Jokers that copy abilities are the ones that are just absolutely cracked. Right? I'd have to discard my title. Terrifying. Any farmland out here? A little bit here. It's good to know. It's going to be very hard for me to get bread. Maybe I have to start importing wheat. Because, like, this is, this is way too far for workers to walk. For, like... crops, right? For agriculture, you want it you want it here-ish. I mean, I guess I can just put crops anywhere and I just have to fight it. Like this is 50%. Simply build a metro. Fair. All right. Bad news. Oh, no, good news, Matt. We got goats. Oh my god. Uh they are very expensive, but I can do this. Well, or can I? I don't know, Matt. Oh my god, I have a hundred linen shirts I could sell. What are you going to do for me, Matt? What have you done for me lately? I'm working on the highlights, I swear. <laughs> Uh-huh. A likely story. So the good news is I literally have to buy goats in order to sell all of the goods and services that I have. Now, how many goats can I fit into here is a question. <laughs> 10. I'm just going to straight up buy 10 goats. They call me 10 Goat Jaeger. I can't. I'll buy five goats. Now buy another five goats. Three livestock were born. My cows. They're multiplying. Wait. Oh, one of the one of the goats they sold me was pregnant. I already have eleven. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, how are we doing over here?
I've got goats. They're multiplying. Uh, oh, that's soap. Soap I don't want to buy. Should I immediately make a second goat pasture to allow for growth? Oh, no. That would be greedy, Matt. No. Okay. I want to get this last 600 gold out of them. Uh-oh. A building is on fire. Oh, that's... That's that's a big fire. I got water here and here though. I think I'm okay. Crops lost to heat stress. Stupid carrots. Hey, to people who play this game a lot, do you ever really worry about the fiddliness of like this stuff, the soil mixture for the crop selected or whatever? Because um, it's actually shockingly expensive. Like, if I wanted to do this, that'd be 60 clay to get a 10% soil bonus, right? Like, that's absurd. You adjust it sometimes. I don't know. It feels like a lot of cost, and I don't really know what I'm getting out of it, you know? Ooh, second traveling merchant. All right, what do you got? More importantly, is there anything that you sell? Wait, this one has no money left. What can I do here? Um, I guess I could just sell them goods. To try and make some money. Is there anything I want to buy here? Not particularly. I could buy wheat. I mean, I could buy wheat and I could buy flour. And I could just start bakery stuff that way. Just brute force it, you know? All right. Well, the other one just left. So my chances of making bank off of them is um, going to get a little bit more challenging. Can you force bad farmland to become fertile over time? Yes, but it is actually very time consuming. Because what you need to do is you need to collect um, increasingly large amounts of poop. And there's only so much poop I can collect. It's like doable, but I don't know if it's worth it. The goats are good for making more poop. I mean, that's fair. I can, I mean, the issue is I don't really have any, like this also feels very far, right? I don't know, what do you think? This is the best farmland I have in an area that I kind of already control. Like, this isn't bad. Oh, it's 40%. 40% is pretty bad. I do need more wheat. I think maybe I'll just put it here. Like, what is what does this cost me? Is this at 50%? 50% is not the worst. I want to get into... Baking. Oh, is it lunchtime already? My love. Forty six. That's good stuff. All right. Oh, I'm being a oh, I'm about to be attacked. Wow. And I'm being attacked from this side. Devastating. Oh, I already have two people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Well, well, well. If it isn't your old friend about to get run over. Can you believe they're coming straight for the goats? So here's the plan. Here's the plan. First off, the plan is going to be to watch how Fort Narkuru handles this. Oh no! What is this? They have Trebuckets? Oh, this is some hot garbage. I've never seen catapults before. Oh, these idiots. No, do not, do not stand and fight. You are going the wrong way. Turns out rock does, in fact, beat stone. Yeah, like... Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. So one of the things that's been kind of nice, I haven't seen it this time around, um, but you used to get a ton of, what is hitting this? You used to get a ton of what the game would describe as uh, festering wounds. So like a bear would hit you or like, you know, random, um, random wolf would touch you and you'd get festering wounds. So what's really interesting is this is no longer a soldier. They become a laborer as soon as their tower is destroyed. So when they're in this building, they had weapons and armor. And now that the building is gone, they just drop everything and they're just Laria. Run for your life, Laria. Dead villager around here. Yeah, like that sucks. What made the bandits invade? They just do that every now and then. Yeah, like, please. Please stop. Why? Why are you getting out of your houses? Wh wh <sighs> Extremely frustrating. The villagers are trying to punch the siege weaponry and they're doing one HP per, per attack. Just if you're curious. Another villager has died. Where? Why did you go out the door? Why? Why would you go out the door? Why? Oh, I... It just tilts me so much. I want to love this game so much more than I do. And then a villager just walks to their death. 
I I don't get it. I don't get why that's a thing. All right, two things that are told to me. Also, soldiers, armed and armored soldiers, once their tower is destroyed, becoming peasants. That also doesn't make any sense to me. The bell doesn't send everybody to town center. It only sends a few. Yes, it arms the garrison and then everybody else acts like it's a totally ordinary day. Inexplicably. I don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. This raid also feels stronger than the point of the game. I mean, I mean, I also did turn the raids up to max difficulty. <laughs> so like, please know that that's the thing. I kind of did this to myself, but the issue is not the difficulty of the raid. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with them breaking down walls. That's interesting to me. What's not interesting to me is watching villagers choose death. When what they should do, the expected behavior that I would say, they should they should hide in their house and they should never under any circumstance walk towards the people who are trying to kill them. That part, that part is bad to me. That part is very bad to me. What happens if they destroy my town hall? Is that bad? Oh no, my garrison just emptied. You break it and then like 17 dudes fall out? Oh my God. All right, everybody just chill. Everybody just chill. Just let him go. Just let him go. This hunter's finishing them off. All right. Well. Well, well, well. Let's save. Let's have a lunch break. Let's rebuild. Oh my God, they burnt down everything. They burnt everything. Hello, how you doing? Welcome to lunch. Here's the plan, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chat. I'm gonna eat the last of this delicious leftover turkey that I had the other day. And then we're gonna return to the video game. Stronger than ever. And you know what, I was saying I couldn't afford, I couldn't afford to put wall towers. I don't think I can afford to not put towers at this point. Did they lose their catapults? They didn't roll into town. I think they stayed on the exterior, destroyed all my buildings, and then rolled away. They're like, my work here is done. Well, again, soldiers I can't afford to armor. Like, I don't have gear for soldiers, which is unfortunate. but I can make more towers. Yeah, soldiers are just peasants until you get them weapons and armor. And we're still too far from that, but so it goes. In old versions of the game, if your town center is destroyed, it's just GG. Oh, wow, cool. So we're like a fraction away from GG, huh? That's very exciting. We almost died. 
<laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. How you doing, everybody? Anything new and exciting with all y'all? Mm. Joe says I should be able to tell it's the last of the turkey because of how much stuffing there is. <laughs> the villagers walking out and choosing death is a little bit funny to you. Oh, okay. So I make a farm that, you know, Digi evolves wolves into pelts and stuff like that. And yet I'm the monster. I see how it is. Currently running network cables through my walls so I can have an actual good network in my garage where I move my 3D printer. Oh, that's kind of fun. I suppose that's the, the, the benefits of like house, wooden house construction. Run stuff all over the place. Oh, Jojo, can you bring one of the Rack Espresso Cups? Off the fridge, one of the Rack Espresso Cups. My buddy got a 3D printer. And he made us a little housewarming gift, which was very sweet. So he 3D printed little coffee cups with a magnet and they're like just the cutest little fridge magnets, you know? There you go. Little application for a 3D printer. Lady Haas get her first interview with a representative for Island Health. Island Health. My island? Possibly our island, comrade? What am I hearing here? That's a very exciting. That's a very exciting. I'm getting yelled at by angry customers after the massive data center failure that kept me up all day on Tuesday. It's awesome. They keep bringing their lawyers on the calls if I'm not just the IT guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're like, hey, I understand that you're mad. This is not a me problem. <laughs> this is so beyond a me problem now. That sucks, Alrin. Oh, no, I will not be I will not be drinking out of those cups. No. <laughs> but thank you, Aaron. I'm treating those as being purely decorative. It's your birthday on Saturday? Hello, fellow April baby. Hey, a reminder that uh, this Wednesday is my birthday. And to kick it off, I'm going to be doing my first ever subathon. So come out, hang out on Wednesday, and then basically for the next five streams after that, there's going to be a lot, a lot of Surge content. Should be a good time. We're going to uh, kick it off with some roguelike, roguelike. Your fiance's birthday is the 25th. Happy soon-to-be birthday to your fiance as well. So you're not saying that both Vic General and Royal Jubilee are both very interested in her, but I'm also not not saying that. Well, well, well. 
the Hosks potentially immigrating to Canada. Wow. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on, Hosk. One very important thing. I'm pretty sure we said the, the We Play shirts were never allowed back into Canada. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how many of those We Play shirts are still in circulation? Some boxes are going to have an accident on the ferry. No, we don't want anything to wind up in the ocean there. We want to try. The ocean needs to be protected. Hmm. Like, there's probably a garage somewhere that could use some more oil rags, though. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> oh no trying to get Amazon's onboarding to let me have my old username back I mean yeah that'd be kind of cool Probably make some of your, yeah, you were there for 13 years. I was going to say, like, for some of your old colleagues who are still around, too, probably be weird, like, weirder for it to be different, you know? What's that plush behind me? The one next to the framed art? You mean the giant cinnamon bun? It's a derpy little cinnamon bun with a smiley face. It's a signed Wayne Grisgrutchy cinnamon bun. Exactly. This doesn't look like a cinnamon bun? Really? Look at it. It's just a little guy. And it's blushing. What's that frame say? So there's, um, we showed it off on stream on yesterday. It took me a second to remember what day it was. It says, uh, I hope you fall in a mine shaft. Collaboration between Lady Atarka and Sarah Serende. I do like the idea to just take a piece of, like a little post-it note, write 99 on it and put it on the wall behind me. That's very funny. <laughs> mm. If you want to see a larger photo, thank you for sharing this. I hope you fall into a mine shaft. <laughs> we got a little geode. We have a little... Blob of diorite, evil. Mm. 
I've upgraded my bows to crossbows. Not yet. No. No, there's like three upgrades away from that. All the upgrades all happen at the exact same time, which is maybe another balance critique of the game. Like um, there's a huge wall right between tier two and tier three. And oftentimes, I mean, I guess you could be during tier two, you could be buying brick and iron ingots to try to get into there, just buying crossbows. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna invest heavily in defenses once we get back into it. I'm also I'm also looking at this uh, this floor plan here. We need to start organizing our little central bit, right? Getting everything in there. Although I don't think their design is very good. It only has one market, right? Like what? There are other layouts. I looked at the other ones. I didn't like them as much. This is the one that I liked the best. I really especially liked the the separated sort of like fort for all of your big money things. Because typically I build my city around my town center and it becomes increasingly difficult to defend. <laughs> Obviously, our defenses aren't great right now, you know, but so it goes. All right, uh, give me one quick second, friends. I'm going to wash my hands, and then uh, I'll be right back. All righty. So the idea that I can't pay five gold a year to employ an archer when it's costing me 25 gold every time I have to rebuild a tower. I think that math isn't adding up, y'all. That math, that, I think it made sense before, but not now. No, not now. Also, they had little catapults, which while adorable, hate that. Uh, random question, uh, uh, twitchtracker.com, Dalrent. If anybody is ever curious if a streamer has streamed a game, twitchtracker.com slash the name of the streamer. I will give you the tools. Man, I really wanted to use my money to actually get like things off the ground, you know, like my own industry, but uh, here we are, <clears throat> here we are. 15 buildings were destroyed. What a scene to come back to. <laughs> Just in here looking at the rubble. So like this, this one, I mean, what do you, what do, you do in this case, right? Like, Who's this guy? Hold on. Why, why do you have such a nice hat? Like, look at this guy.
Do my arrows not even harm you? I also love that I'm just taking pot shots at people while they walk by. Okay, whatever. How are the goats? They did not steal any of my goats. Actually thrilled about that. This is just a nightmare. repair the town hall everything automatically repairs itself uh, your builders when they are idle just walk around and repair stuff Uh, that's as much stone as I can invest right now. We are still stone poor. What? Why? Why'd you smash that? Oh, my cows. Did they steal some of my cows? I hope not. Estimating my entire H. Oh my god, I need one of these tools in order to finish the foundry build site? That's frustrating. And I take it, they're gone. How much does this cost to upgrade? $500 reduce. A building has been abandoned. Why? Why was the building abandoned? Drop down to 29 happy. <clears throat> Unforgivable. You think I was a road cow taking advantage of the chaos? Possibly. Let's get uh, two more builders going here. I got, I got a lot of projects I've queued up all at once, you know? <clears throat> Hey, what's up, AJ Gala? Thank you so much for seven months. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day. I don't know why you went down to 29 happy, but it upsets me. Let's get a second wagon driver here. So I just queued up eight new towers. Yeah, that's about all I can do until we get an increase in population. It's gonna cost me to upgrade a well. Iron, what, what are the five iron bars for? For a basic well. This game looks neat. I love this game. I'm having a great day. I just re-released the first book in my series. It went live on Amazon today, and it's so pretty. Hey, congratulations, friend. What's your book about? Tell us about you. <clears throat> All right. I'm out of stone, and I need 30, 48... 
53, 60, 90. I am 90 stone short to build just the towers, not even including the labor. Political intrigue, royal family, juicy secrets, and a dog. Dark fantasy novel, a bit like Game of Thrones and True Blood smushed together. Neat. Throw a link in chat. That's awesome. Congratulations. Hey, if you make cool stuff, friends, promote your stuff. How's the poop level in all the houses going here? I might have to get a second poop. Second poop smith. Maybe we put the other poop smith near the... Uh, Oh, right. I forgot we were also making farm crops at some point, weren't we? Halted. Yeah, that's fine. I love these decorative rocks. I don't want to have to chop chop those decorative rocks. I think they look so good. I also don't love the complete lack of rock we have, though. Can tr plant trees for sustainable logging. So this, I don't believe if I upgrade this by itself, does it unlock crossbows? <clears throat> this doesn't cost me any gold. Let's do it. What's the book title? Yeah, throw a link, AJ Gala. Throw a link. Oh, did we upgrade? I think we did. Nice. Okay, let's start preparing for the big cell. Fractured bone. Great. Love to hear it. Don't have a ton to sell. So the hope here is next time they show up, we really need to buy a gear so we can start doing something with our own iron ore. <clears throat> Ooh, that is a very abandoned house. Neat. An abandoned building cannot be repaired. I was wondering why that house got abandoned. That's so funny. Huh. <laughs> hmm. What do we know about Venn diagrams, chat? Wow. Bummer for them. Yeah, no kidding.
new villager was born. I'm still broke. Good. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. So this is the upgraded trading hall. And we actually start getting... I think it unlocks like two or three new traders as well. And I think we also get access to a third trading slot. So all extremely good news. Except of course, of course, if they don't sell anything that we want. Uh, I can buy logs. Hopefully just another trader shows up. This deal right now is very mid. Anyways, here's my defensive overlap now, all right? All right? I don't really want to sell any of this, if I'm honest. Ooh, crops ready for assignment. So many good circles. I mean, that is the hope. All right. Uh, I've got 200 log. I mean, they're also selling log extremely cheaply. Maybe I'm supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to buy a couple hundred. It's like 500 wood. That'll keep us for a while. Three livestock are born. Let's go. So now that we're at maximum happiness with our cows, or only at eight cows and our goats, um, we should be able to start getting meat from them as well, which is very exciting. Highly considering getting this game. I'm just afraid of how much time I'll spend on it. It's a good one. A villager died? A villager died of what? Um, hello? Wait, what is happening here? My goats! Oh my god. That's a bear. My 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 goats are getting murdered. <clears throat> oh my god. Yes, Winnie. One in each arm. Is that two bears? So bear showed up, murdered my hunter, and then started mowing down my goats? They killed four goats! I hate this. Crops lost the heat stress. Good. 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 Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is good, actually. Some of you might think it's not good, but in actuality, it is good. I lost a person? Oh my god, it just did. My life is in... Okay, all right, go, go wrangle those goats. Oh, new trader arrived. Okay. 
Uh, so Tarka is back. This is this is big. Okay, this is big, big, big. So while a Tarka is here, first things first, I need to buy. Oh my God, the one time she doesn't sell, the one time she doesn't sell the uh, the special tool that you need. Oh, devastating. Also, these prices are outrageous for weapons. I refuse. All right, hide coats, shoes, herbs. Hide, hide for 10, hide for eight. Okay. Make like a 25% profit off of this. wonder if they can jack up the price for weapons after a raid. I mean... So you buy shirts for 21. I will sell to you. How can they do this to us? Oh, soldiers and guards do. I mean, I don't have four thousand dollars, but we're getting there. It'd be interesting to try out the like make a temple and put cool things in it. But I don't know if we're gonna get there. Uh, this is technically a profit, and I don't need these candles, so I'll just sell them here for ten each. I think I bought them for eight or something like that. You know what the real issue here? I bet you Atarka is also selling weapons to the bandits, right? Trying to create a little uh, little cold war, a little competition. Because who profits? She does, right? Very suspicious. She shows up once the raiders aren't here. We get attacked constantly. She can just roll in. Nothing bad's ever happening. I don't know. Pretty sus. Pretty sus, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. They don't sell iron bars. I was about to say, there's a huge opportunity to make some money there. Buying iron bars for 13. Yeah. So we need to be able to buy from the iron trader. We need to buy a special tool. That'll allow us to finish off our foundry so we can start making our own iron. We just don't have it. Considering we're hustling the traders, you don't, you're not surprised they hold the grudge. We're not hustling the traders, please. We are providing an essential service. We are a broker. Okay, a long and respected, I was trying to see if they have stone, a long and respected job, okay? Man, two bears showed up out of nowhere, murdered my mans, and ate my goats. Life on the frontier sucks, eh? Sucks. Beans and peas. What are you? Okay. Any anything else I can get in the in the fall? Are you a It's a minus two though. I'd love to get a plus. An afternoon plus, you know? A little bit of heat. What's this? Buckwheat. What about my cabbages? Minus four for cabbages? Good Lord. Hay. Hay is also bad? I don't understand. Well, just leave it blank, I guess.
Remember in a book I read where the medieval village protected themselves from the king's taxes by keeping bees in the walls and bears roaming the streets at night? How do you get them to only roam the streets at night? Okay, we have a third merchant now. And now, do we have three? No, the other one left. Okay. Okay, they want to... All right. So real quick, how do I make money here? Linen shirts. Okay, linen shirts are a better price there. Tools, tools for 37. Tools for 52? No, okay. Um, iron bars again, no. Daggers, daggers for 65. Daggers for 115. Okay, um, I don't think we have the opportunity to make any any big money here. What I can do, however, is sell 250 herbs. A secret blend of herbs and spices. You know, that's fine. That's fine. That gets us another... Nope, wrong button. That gets us another thousand dollar dues. And that lets us put a lot into the coffers, which I'm pretty stoked about, TBH. Look at that, 4K. Now, if only we had some stone. <laughs> Crops lost to animals. Okay, it is absolutely just the cows, isn't it? What's up, White Wolf? How you doing? We're always going to advocate for more defenses. We don't have any stone! How do we get more defenses? We have no stone. We have no stone. We can't buy stone. I mean, we can't even finish the tower. Oh, there we go. We finished this tower. Can't even finish this tower that was supposed to protect our cows, our goats. You know, a surge with a J and a surge with a me. Fascinating. Tell me about the surge with a J. I had a, a friend in Victoria for a while who was a Mexican surge. Sergio. Neat, right? I don't meet a lot of surges in my life, in my day to day. We're a rare breed. You know, a Lieutenant Surge. In Canada, it's pronounced left tenant. I swear. Oh, graze your cattle elsewhere. Okay. They want me to graze my cattle elsewhere. How though? How how move how move graze? What if I do this? Nope, they're still there. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Okay. I just have to do that. Okay. They're going to stop grazing. They're going to stop grazing on the field now. A little bit embarrassing. Can I rotate it? No. It's just a giant square. So it was absolutely my fault. The cows were eating everything. Devastating. Hey, what's up, Shikesi? Lunch break live. How you doing? The only other Surge I know is the one from the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. Wasn't that Serge? There's, of course, the um, lead singer of System of a Down, Surge, but I spelled, I believe that one is spelled S E R J. You doing good? How am I? You know, 
chilling, partying like a rock star. Food production, uh, the cheesery, the cheese maker. Now, was the cheesery placed inside of the town? I wonder. No, but it is neutral. Let's get some cheese going, right? That'll make my people happier. Imagine living in a world without cheese. I know I don't want to. No gold storage. Gold ingot gains could not be stored. Where did they wound up? If they couldn't be stored, where were they placed? The void ate them. I mean, that'd be bad if they just threw my money away. Hey, Lord. Yeah, we tried to collect taxes, but uh, no one was around. So we just threw them on the ground. <laughs> Bye. Feel kind of bad. it on the ground. No, please. I need to be part of my system, man. I need it. So, now that I've got three wheat crops a-cooking, I should probably start thinking about a windmill. How am I doing for nothing? I have no people. Okay. I need people to move in. Step one, I need more villagers. God, I always need more villagers. Step two, uh, I need people to show up and I need them to start selling stone desperately desperately need them to start selling me stone three i need my people to stop getting scurvy happy birthday to the ground it'll be happy birthday to me not even the ground next week so you know that's a thing can't build a shrine it costs stone I read somewhere you can request an item and it's guaranteed on the next trader, but it increases the price. How do I do that? I'm, I'm interested in doing that. I'll request that. Watch me. Oh, there it is. Request item to be brought by the next merchant at premium prices. Well, I need to buy like hundreds of stone. Nah, I'm pretty cheap. I'm pretty cheap. I'll just leave it up to chance. Oh, oh look, I don't want to. Can you imagine getting bankrupt buying stone? No. How do I upgrade this building, by the way? Requires iron. Oh my god, it happened again? No gold storage? So if I want to get gold storage, I have to get a vault. And a vault costs iron and stone. I hate everything. I hate everything. What did I do to deserve this? Who did I slight? Do I need more storage houses? Oh, yeah, I guess I do. I'm trying to upgrade stuff, but yeah, you're right. Everything is full. Hmm. I really like the idea of having the, the concept of having them in my fort. 
Uh, like, this area is kind of fortified. Maybe I start moving stuff out of here. So if I were to put towers, presumably they'd be on the interior here, not the exterior, which is kind of funny because it feels like this is a little area. What? If, hold on. What if I... Can I push this like right to the water? I mean, kind of. I'd have to move some blueberries if I wanted to do it on this side. I'm going to try completely walling this off and seeing what happens. If I simply spend all of my gold, I won't need to spend it. I won't need to store it. So I can't even spend gold because I keep wanting stone as well. It's unbelievable, huh? What's a guy got to do? Uh. There you go, build three of them. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. No gold storage. All right. I mean, if I had ways that I could just spend money that also didn't cost stone, I'd be all over it right now. And I need bricks. I will be trying to upgrade these, though. It seems like a great idea. No, my bushes. It's actually kind of devastating to lose that. Well, let, let's let them walk around a little. Let's let them walk around a little. Oh. Pardon me. Where are all you? Where are all you going? Oh, you work there. All right, look at all this gold storage we have now. Make a reminder. No food. And actually, you know what? Those are gold ingots. Where was I even storing gold? Oh, there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say no gold out here. I mean, actually, let's just say no produced materials. And then these ones will say no raw materials. Right? There's a special bank vault. Yep. Guess what it takes. <laughs> Did you guess stone? <laughs> uh, m the main thing it takes is iron. And we can't get any iron yet. Because um, we are lacking 
one of these and nobody sold it yet. So we need to get a heavy tool. Uh, and then we can start producing our own iron ingots. And then, yes, we will build a vault in there and everything will be perfect and everybody will clap. This is almost filled entirely with gold. I mean, the other thing I could have done is I could have just put more gold over here, right? Like I could put, I could put a thousand gold back over this way. That'll give us some more room. I don't even think about the fact that I have to store the gold outside. Hey, where'd my weird little wagon go? Did my wagon get destroyed? It might have. Maybe that's what went wrong. You start with a storage wagon. And I remember keeping it there. Crops lost a disease. We are getting hit, man. We are getting hit with this so frequently and it's really depressing. Is it just circulating between my three crops? Is that why? Hey, mop, 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 Thank you very, very much for that prime, friend. I hope you're having a great day. What's that? The gen the gentle tinkle of a brand new trader? Ooh, now this is one of the new ones. Uh, Masuke, the silver tongue. Look at that. Look at the money they show up with. No, they're buying heavy tools. Oh my God. So they come selling spices and furniture and candles and beer. They're useless to me. They're actually useless to me. Why are you like this? Ugh. <laughs> You would have given them all your money. What would you have bought from them? Oh yeah, by the way. Let's get that down to 20. And let's set a quota for this of 30. And then let's do... Let's do... Oh, I can't even make any because I don't have any iron. Guard! Guard! Ah! You having fun? I'm having fun. I'm going to spend some stone now on this, though, because it'll get us more money. Okay, another trader's here. Man, look at the size. Look at the size. Of the, how do we get... The, well, they barely make it down the street. That's a wide load right there. Do you think sometimes our peasants get, like, giant, you know, like, bullhorn marks in the side of their house, and they're afraid to complain because they don't want to upset the Lord? All right, we're back up to seven goats. Tremendous news. Yes, please. I'll take an entire town's worth of candles and beer for a really nice chair. Yeah. <laughs> like, we do need to start getting furniture at some point for our people. Similarly, candles, but we ain't there yet. Great thing about goats is they self-replicate. Is that like a feature or a bug? All right, what do we got here? Stone! Oh my god, for seven dollars? God, that's so expensive. 
Well, why why get money if I can't spend money? Oh, that stung so bad. All right, luckily they are buying my pottery. Wait, I'm actually ahead. Never mind. <laughs> oh, uh, sell candle for 11. Buy candle for 10. Buy cheese for four. Sell cheese for four. Basically launder money, but that's about it. Glassware, heavy tools, hauberks. This trader's probably so happy he could unload 200 stone. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean about us not hustling traders? You think I made it this far in the farthest frontier without hustling traders? You're not going to make it one day on the frontier with that attitude. Nothing's really a good deal either. If things are cheaper. Maybe I, you know, get some stuff. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's just soldier cost. If it was also uh, guardsman cost, I'd, I'd be interested in that, but. That's fine. All right, we're stone rich now. Which means, what does it mean? I need, that's, that's done. It's enough towers. I feel like I don't have enough um, defenses over here. So let's add another exit. Let's add another gate. And then uh, let's add two more towers. Come on. Okay. Raiders are coming. Raiders are coming. I just put a hole in my wall. Gonna attack from multiple directions here. Okay, good, good. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna have to pull people out of the mines. Wait, even after all of that, I don't have enough laborers. Wow. All right. I still have 20 miners. The iron mine is fine. Oh. Oh, they're already here? Bro. So I have a hunter, right? Where are you? Go mess that up. We're gonna do a little reconnaissance mission here, okay? You're gonna go this way. Have a good one, Chikesi. Oh, they're on horseback. Yo, what? You need to run for your life. Oh my God, the fact that my door is wide open is so funny to me. K, 
Okay, well, the nice thing is this tower might be able to fight off this whole flank just by itself. I wish I could tell it to attack melee. Okay, we're fine there. What's going on over here? Okay, it's just horse people. Uh, hello? Hunter attacking. Get back inside, you idiot. No. What about you? Gathering wax. Retreating. Okay. No, 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 no. Go all the way over here. All right, how are we doing on this side? This side looks completely fine. Now, uh, did my friend die? Yes, yes, they did. Very good, very good. I'm glad they chose death. All right, how you feeling? How you feeling about our defensive situation right now? You feeling good? You feeling bad? You got a bow and arrow there or no? Yeah, you do. No need to respect the 1v1 against raiders. Anyways, really quickly, while this is happening, how are we doing over here? What do you mean we don't have enough bows? We didn't make enough bows. Very awkward. Oh my god. They won the 1v2? I'm out. This, by the way, is why I'm saying just having an army isn't good enough. Because, like, they are not doing anything. All right, we have murdered all of the horses. No, we have not. I think I still need a garrison just in case. How are they doing on this wall? No, no, get back inside, you fool. All these people are like, Bo, please. And the boyer is like, look, I got bad news for you. Oh, I didn't stalk anybody. I got bad news for you. Uh, like, mayor ordered crossbows and then didn't give me iron. So I'd love to give you anything. But uh, yeah, that ain't on me. All right. Well, apparently I didn't put enough towers here. If I had more towers, then I could be doing something like this, you know? Wow, they're so armored. They're only taking like four damage. Kind of wish I could click on them and find out about them, you know? Now on the plus side, this wall. This wall is going to hold forever. And how are we doing over here? I mean, I mean, 
The goats are like, hey, what up? Man, that guy's got a long... Look how long that is. This guy is either super ripped or this is all for show. Oh, they took one look at it and they're like, no, 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 no. I'm out. They're fighting back. Oh, you know what? If I saw this many people running at me too, I think I'd, I'd fall back as well. All right, you can stop chasing now. You did you did a good job. <clears throat> you did a good job. What are you, a hunter? All right, how are we feeling, everybody? We feeling more positive about that? I mean, mind you, they didn't have any siege weaponry this time. So it's like... Oh, man, that stupid hunter went out and died. That's frustrating. There's another hunter there? Oh, they're a guard. Uh-huh. Oh. They ran out of arrows. Yeah, it's just like any, any, any small amount of self-preservation like this hunter. Where do you work? Where do you work, Addy? Addy, is this your job? Not anymore. You're fired. You're not a hunter. So now, Addy who is not a hunter, somehow lost their bow and arrow. Predators are attacking, I swear. Simply build a moat. That'd be kind of neat. You can't do bridges in this game, but moats would be kind of funny. Who are you? Who are you? What is your job? Irwin. 55-year-old Irwin. This is like, all right, Noah. I've had enough. They've bullied my people for too long. Nope. Nope. Irwin, you don't get to go outside and choose death, buddy. You don't get to do it. You want to do it, but you don't get to do it. Oops. Oh my god. I'm accidentally pulling the archers out. Uh. No, you idiot. Just stop it. Stop it! <laughs> Why? Why do they just insist on dying? It doesn't have to be this way. Ah. <sighs> Are they better or worse than dupes? You mean from auction not included? Oh my god, a million times better. I don't have a stop button. I so they they are supposed to give us more like micro controls for RTS level stuff and I like I can't tell them to not do a thing and I cannot tell them to I don't know. How could they be worse than dupes? 
Dupes follow orders. Right? You can tell dupes to not do something. They won't do it. You can lock doors. Right? Like, I could lock this gate and oxygen not included, and then nobody would walk out it. But these guys will just walk right out and just die. And I don't get it. I do not, I do not, do not, do not understand it. And it is, I am, I'm losing it. I need a rat catcher. Do tools will suffocate two feet from an air pocket while twiddling their, their thumbs? I mean, you're not wrong, but also. Oh, all right. Let's fix our sitch here a little. You know what? No. Let's keep these fully stocked. I don't know if I can afford to. I am so short on laborers. I just can't afford. I can't. How many guards? 31 guards? I can't do it. We die. We have 31 guards. Our economy grinds to a halt. That's going to help. So you know where we are going to permanently keep guards? Is inside of town. Inside of there, we'll, we'll keep the doubles. All right. Can't make burrows? Ah, uh, no. No, no terraforming like that in this game. Oh, I just want to love this game. And this game is making it very hard for me to love it. Can I buy iron off of you? No. Okay. Oh, burrows are like a fixed zone which staff are limited to? No, there's nothing like that. I cannot lock doors. I cannot tell people where to go or not to go. Uh, I cannot tell people not to run off to their death. No. No, they'll die if they want to. And they'll be happy about it. And then they'll make me pay for their funeral. <laughs> Oh. Just the absolute ping pong of emotion. That being said, we did handle it better, right? I think we'll all agree that I did a better job there. Okay, we're getting bows and arrows for people now, which is big. It's big. Aren't you thinking what's best for your economy? Arrows cost money. The dead cost nothing. So the problem is you can't make money with dead villagers. So I got to turn that logic right back on you. Oh, there is a, a consumey thing here. Oh, wow. That's so many willow bushes.
That's absurd. That is so much. Ooh, blueberries. No, let's just leave it. Yeah, greens and willows. Wow. Oh, that looks so cute. Look at that. That's the level two. Stores 3,000, whereas previously it stored 1,500. So it doubles it. I'll upgrade that because it doesn't take stone. I'll upgrade this because it doesn't take stone. The cellar doesn't take stone either. Great. All right, how are we doing for workers right now? Still a little bit shy. Still have 32 guards? Bro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's already 20. I'm like one good day away from maybe finally being able to... Uh, Being able to like get to the next tier and I just can't quite get there, you know? I just I just can't quite like get the iron going. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my houses are on fire. That's also fine. Do you think there's a certain point where I need to start doing double thick walls? Oh, look how cute that is, by the way. Love that. What a great little storage building. Next time I play Minecraft, I want to make this tower. Remind me of this. This is where my starter storage is going to be stored. I don't know where we go from there, but this structure is adorable. Okay, the kilns are being fully fired. Good. I've got 400 clay still. Don't know how much more walls would help with the siege engine. That gives us more time to react. That's not nothing, you know? Predators are attacking. I was trying to research when you should invest in barracks and they're all talking about like multiple barracks kept empty until raiders and like three deep walls except at gates to bury logic path or uh, abuse their raider path. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, maybe these huge sections of walls that are, are empty, we should, um, we should look into maybe trying to put something else there. It's an interesting idea. Right? Like, if I never want them to attack this side, we just go double thick with the palisades or whatever. Uh, I'm also getting kind of wood poor again. All right, let's 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 start moving our, our little supply camp. I feel like we've completely exhausted. I feel like we've completely exhausted a lot of what this had to offer, but I still need the work camp out here, or this. So let's grab this building and move it. Where's my road? It's like over here. Build a well. And let's build a temporary shelter out here. I 
Been in the Pacific Northwest for less than a week. I'm already complaining about Palisades. Oh my God. They're everywhere out here. So like in theory, I'm wondering if I could do something like this. Does that make the AI better or worse? I don't even know. What do you what do you think about maybe something like this? Do you think this looks better? Like what if we what if we put a gap? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm going to give it a try. They already prioritize roads and gates. Well, I mean, they were fighting here. And then last time, I didn't even have a road or a gate here. Remember, they like punched the way on here. So, I mean, I guess it's not absolute, right? If given the option, they'll check out other stuff. All right, what do we got? Candles, preserves, you are buying iron. This trader is useless to me. Selling flour. They're selling plate mail armor, which is like the giga tier armor, by the way. <gasps> no, <sighs> the stupid heavy tools in the wrong direction. So I'm not going to put a gate on it, is my thought here. What I'm going to do... I'm just gonna try something like that. Spend all my wood, you know? A villager has been struck with a fractured bone. Cause this used to be our uh, this used to be our weak side. But not anymore. Look at me now. <laughs> Low desirability is making villagers want to leave. Where? Normally there's like a spider web on top of a house. There's like a tooltip thingy. Mystery. Uh, this is also becoming a problem. Anybody else notice this? <laughs> Yikes. All right, we got two merchants. Okay, you know what? I have to buy it. I have to buy it. Let's buy four. And what can I sell? I can sell 62 of these. Can I sell the rest? You're selling for 348. You're buying for 329. Dang. Okay. Actually, we want these to be town stocked because that'll finish off. That way I can finally start smelting some iron. You're buying furniture, pots, medicine? Nope. Okay. Daggers for 122, daggers for 115. Wait, daggers for 115 sold. Okay. Uh, I think this is going to be a loss one this time. Which is fine. Make a little bit of money back selling back this pottery. I mean, I'm at the point now where I should probably buy a bunch of flour and get a bakery going, right? Actually, I should just get a bakery going right now. What does a bakery cost me? There it is.
Look at this, everybody's so happy. They smell it, they're like, oh. What's this? A bakery. Love a bakery. Okay, so that means I need a mill. How's my cheese making going at here, Louise? How am I doing for population? We're a little light. We're a little light. It's fine. I'm just hungry. Am I a baguette apologist? You take that back. Okay, I can make a little bit more money here, which is great. And ideally, this gets finished and we start producing iron, which is going to be huge. What is a baguette apologist? You know, somebody who apologizes on behalf of baguettes. Despite all of baguettes' crimes, they're on baguettes' side. What's there to apologize for? It's many slights and blunders. Well, we found, I guess, we found the baguette apologist, didn't we? Guess I got room. Oh, wait, another merchant. Is there a chance for stonks? Buying hide, baskets, soap, planks, and medicinal root. Yeah, none of that. All right. Selling. Selling pottery for 10. Buying pottery for 14. Yes. Oh, we're going to be so rich. Oh, this is actually huge because we were... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, okay. I can buy beer for three. People love to buy beer. Linen? Buying linen for 13 is not a terrible idea. I can sell that for a fortune later. Let's buy a hundred. Wow, that's expensive. But that'll that'll pay for itself later. That's a really good price to buy that. So I could... You know what? In anticipation for eventually wanting to get some pretty beefy soldiers, let's buy... Three of these. Oh, I made a mistake. I can't. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll get there eventually. All right. So I start with two. I got a little carried away. I bought too many hauberks. <laughs> Hold. I'm turning pottery into armor here, chat. As one does. <laughs> I feel like I didn't actually gain any wealth here. I feel like I just handed all of my wealth over to somebody. The nice thing is I could sell it back and be like, hey, actually, hold on. Actually, I feel like I I made a mistake. I could, I could sell one back. Oh, no, they literally won't buy it back from me. Okay, so I have this armor now. <laughs> so I got this armor. When we start to train up our militia, uh, I should have maybe done like some basic pencil math or something first there. Oh, geez. 
Yeah, okay. Well, this is our life now. But there you go. The Narkuru Armed Forces are getting closer. There. So finally, we are making iron. Which is going to be big. Big, 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 big moment. So yeah, how do you feel about that? Does that make you feel more comfortable? Look at that wall. Try and funnel them into where the towers are. Oh. We could try and do the same thing here. It's a lot of wood though, we can wait. I like it. I think it's I think it's getting stronger, it's getting better. And then maybe, just maybe, I need about 40 more people to move in. Maybe, just maybe, we can turn this around. So I'm trying to deplete this iron mine as quickly as possible. I don't actually need eight people on it, but you know. Kind of nice. I do need a lot of people on coal. How are we doing for coal currently, actually? Got 600. Okay. I need a labyrinth of walls. The raiders have to navigate if they want to get close to the... What a, is this to protect the goats or just in general? We can't play this like a Warcraft 3 tower defense minigame, unfortunately. That's just not how this works. I don't, I don't get to... Like, at a certain point, they'll be like, nah, and they'll just smash the walls. And also that uh, that catapult doesn't quite work that way. Work area needs to be moved. I've got stone under there. Is that the issue? Forestry survey fertility. Right. I want to upgrade this at some point too. That takes uh, 15 iron. If I upgrade this, then they'll start to plant and we'll get a little bit more of like a, a sustainable thingy over here. What is this upgrade? Oh, the well. Ah, the well. The real legend is that the center of the labyrinth was a herd of goats, not a minotaur. Wait, was it the goats that were eating people? I thought they fed people to that labyrinth, Matt. Or was that just lies and slander? I don't have any flour impossible. That's because this hasn't been built yet. <gasps> oh, you know what I can finally make now that I have iron as well? I can finally start making some crossbows. Everything's coming up us, chat. That's just propaganda. They lived a happy life cuddling goats all day in the labyrinth. Oh, okay, pardon me. Wait, where are you going? Hold on. Time out. I have so many questions. What are you going to do? There's a wall and a lake. Don't tell me you know black magic. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, neat. You know what? Maybe we just shouldn't ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Wait, I can upgrade this too? What does this upgrade do? Just more desirable. Wow. Oh, we're starting to get full. What do these upgrades cost me? Just money? Love it. Love just money. The bog is haunted now. Mm. All righty. Okay. 
I actually have to end a little bit early today, friends. So let's call it there as the season changes. Thanks for joining. This has been neat. This has been equal parts fun and frustrating. This game is still not where I want it. And I really want it to be... God, this game has the potential to be one of my favorite games of all time. It's so pretty. I love the aesthetic. Maybe... I was going to say, maybe I'm supposed to play it peaceful, but I actually really enjoy the concept of combat in this game. I just don't love the execution of combat in this game. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, it's still in early access for sure. Hey, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, thank you for the good vibes. Thank you for the subs and the bits and all of the support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you're new, make sure you follow the channel. Appreciate it if you come on back. Tomorrow is my day off. Actually, tomorrow, all day, if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, uh, join me over at uh, twitch.tv slash loaningreadyrun. It's not a pre-pre-release. Instead, it's a, what do we call it? Special. Showcase. Product showcase? Pre-launch showcase or something? <laughs> right, I guess I say it's my day off and it's going to be like a 10-hour workday tomorrow, so... There's that about me, if you're just getting to know me for the first time. Hello, I'm Serge. I'm an Aries. I really like coffee. Man, Joe can't ever leave me. What am I going to do if I have to write a dating profile? I'm terrible at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wednesday is my birthday. Look forward to that. We're going to do a subathon and a bunch of wild stuff. Uh, we're going to start with a uh, roguelike roguelike. And kind of go from there. I've never done a subathon before, but I just moved. And uh, I could use a little little injection of capital, as they call it. Could have gone skiing if I was still in Calgary with all the new snow. I wonder if my dad is going skiing now. My mom's out of the hospital. So that's good. We'll see. Anyway, anyways, I digress. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Stop trying to distract me. I'm going to leave now. And I'm going to raise... Benjamin Wheeler. Uh, Wheeler's talking about Magic the Gathering, so enjoy that. Thank you, everybody. You're beautiful. Oh, shout out again to Amy for the raid. I like Amy a lot. Uh, huge appreciation to her. Monoceratosis, thank you for the 300 goodbye biddies. Anyways, Wheeler's great. You might hear a bad word. I'm very family friendly. Wheeler's great, but we'll occasionally swear, so just watch out for that. Um, you're beautiful. I'll see you Saturday.